Well, well, well. Fire it up, footballers. Dan Garinger, Red Bull. Just hanging out. Watching little MLS. Gonna play a little Fortnite in the background. And while MLS gets queued up, let's are you are you gonna oh no, let's watch. Watch live, please. Don't think I could play the audio. Let's make sure that's muted. Dude, that's not muting. That doesn't seem like muting at all. That's muting. Okay, boom. Move back to live, please. Boom. We're live. That's going on in the background. Let's get a little music going for you. At the very least. Thanks for joining. Hopefully you guys all have it. And you're all able to watch. I think this one's free to watch, actually, on Apple TV. So you don't even need to be a subscriber. I think you just need to have the app. Oh. Sorry for blasting your eardrums out there. It's getting all the things adjusted. We wait for this game to go live. That 310, but it's uh, here we are at 311. RBI saying, I can't wait for tonight. From what I can find, there will be about 20K at Red Bull Arena. Uh, Red Bull losing last week. How did that go? A shock result. Dan Garinger got to check the laundry crap. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this is Spitfire. I'd be very, very happy if I did that. I'm going to also make a quick on the fly adjustment. It will blow your minds as I do it live. Chicago that nuts like that a little green <laughs> a little green screen set up I'm gonna get a I think I might get something to sip on that's how bad that game was Orlando Lion Club saying yo RBI is saying, I would not say it was a shock, but that was a dreadful game from Orlando and New York. Orlando's goal was a penalty for sure. Dan Garrett's saying, saying, what's up, spitting fire? Just getting stuff set up. Looks like we are waiting for this transmission to begin. From Apple TV. Hopefully you guys have your Apple TV passes secured. I see a strat in the background. You saw that strat. I could whip that out. Rubber, no doubt. You know, step out. Show me what you all about. <laughs> Fingers in your mouth. Pull your G-string ding. Ju pull your G-string down south. Bounce. In the back seat of a Cherokee. It's little Biggie Smalls, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I got that strat. I am stratted up. Little stratted of various. No, it's not strat. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm no two dabble. On the keytar. I see a strat. Apple TV has a bad scoreboard. Um, yes, they do. Uh, I'm actually using Apple. Let's say I'm using 
I'm using what is this right here? This is sports.yahoo. I think I make an adjustment there and just make that a little smaller. Take a look at my screen. Is everything cool and kosher? Yeah, I'm just making small adjustments so you guys can see things like the game and the score. I'm going to play a little Fortnite here in the background while this game's going on. Because, I mean, Gareth Bale's not in it. How are you guys feeling about MLS this year? MLS without Gareth Bale? Mm. I'm a hard time watching. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, man, uh, I actually did not watch barely a minute of the very first week of MLS, but there's a reason for that. There's no Chicago Fire on. And I did not have my MLS Apple TV uh, thing set up. I have it with my buddy. And so like I went to go turn it on. It was like, eh, text, uh, text the code from the phone that you're signed in on, that you're signed into the account. And I was like, ah, oh. I didn't feel like I had stuff going on that day. I was really just, you know, going and poke my little nose around. Yeah, that MLS 360 show was doing. We heard from DPG in last stream that the uh, MLS 360 show has a lot to work with and it, it needs a lot to fix and it needs adjustments. You need to get closer to red zone NFL than really, uh, than to, oh, we got action, than to uh, what they're doing right now. All right, cool. I can at least see the game. Things you'll love to see. Let's make this smaller. This just needs to be nice and tiny. Yes, that's what we do here. Okay, cool. We got refresh. We got the screen so I could see chat. And I'm guessing. Hold on, let me see what. No, I don't want top chat. I want live chat, please. Live. We do it live here. That's how we always do it. Oh, hold on, I gotta make adjustments so I could see this because I'm not being able to see ch parts of chat here, and that is I do not like. What? Come on, come on. I know you see it. Apple TV. It, no, see, I'm reading the old. I'm reading the old chat. I'm trying to fix this here. I'm trying to make an adjustment. All right. Oh, let's pop that out. There we go. I don't do that. All right. Here we go. All right. And I can make you smaller. Put you on the side. We got Andrew Weeb up on the screen. I got chat. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Cool. Let's see. I would not say it was a, uh, a shock, but that was a dreadful game. Okay, now I'm catching up, boys and girls. Sorry, I know I read that, but getting set up here. Uh, a little zero. Let's go solos. Apple TV. I'm guessing it's an original 62. It is not, uh, but I'll, I'll go pull it out. Rubber, no doubt. Oh, but see, I have it on uh, <laughs> my... Uh... My green screen's interfering with it's like lime green. It's like a light mint green finish on this. Dusty, actually. Up. Uh, and here I'm tuning this. Let's do a little for you. Ugh, my finger's feeling so clunky. I broke my hand it's been a little bit uh it's been a little bit slower to pick up the guitar that's for sure and hey, you know what guys i'm gonna turn on discord if anybody wants to slide in the old spinning fire discord talk a little fire with us during the show or uh, talk a little uh, uh, a little mls with us you're able to do that
Now let's take a look. Screen's all going. What is it, Will Ferrell now? Yeah, Will Ferrell. From part owner, Will Ferrell, I can't. Yeah, great. All right, click you, click you. Uh-oh, where did that go? There it is, okay. Where did it go, go, go? Go somewhere new. Who do you guys think is gonna win this match? Very looking very unlikely that Red Bull's DP striker that they signed this offseason, Dante Venzier, actually is gonna to play tonight for Red Bull. It's very unlikely, which is unfortunate because he's seemed like a done deal a while ago, but they weren't able to get him integrated. Unfortunately, with the team. In time. Quick heal. Okay. Cool. I like this little hidey hole. Oh, this is like a cool little hidey hole. Wow. Do not. I cannot see. Dan Gage for taking LAFC. In fact, guys, I gotta run a poll, hey? How about that? How about I run a little poll? Start a little poll. Who wins? LAFC? Or Portland? Or nobody? Poll is rolling. Thanks for joining us here on Spitfire. By the way, guys, kick that like button, comment, talk some shit. We don't give a hoot. We like to have fun, enjoy the game of soccer, have a little fun on the side. We're, we're here's your, uh, your, your banter place, your, your, your place to chat, chat. Let's go. I've not had the time to get to understand what is happening in MLS lately. Yes, uh, I mean, what has been happening happening in MLS lately? To me, it's been like, I'm paying attention to the big leagues, the uh, the, the Man United, the, the Syria Oz. What's going on with Messi? Is he coming to LAFC? Is he coming to Inter Miami? Like we've heard from Paul Tenorio on a past podcast here. Kids play for one of their competitive de developmental teams in it for LAFC. That's awesome. At least we got a lineup here. Let's take a look. Nitskoda, Loria, somebody in the middle, Moreno, Williamson, McGraw, Rasmussen, Zuparic, Mascara, and Bingham in net. Guys. So week one of MLS, heard it was fun, caught a few of the highlights, saw one minute of it live. We're we gonna go on here. We connecting? Are we connecting? Looks like LAC is of course whipping this pole right now. So LAFC right now versus Portland. Later today, got Atlanta United, Toronto, and a couple other games. What the fuck? It says 30 minutes to kick off, boys and girls. 30 minutes to kick off. I'm not even kick kidding. It's telling me right now we're 30 minutes away from kickoff. It's 3:10 kickoff time. 
and we're 30 minutes from kickoff right now at 325. What the fuck is going on? Look, it was definitely a pinch me moment. I think the first uh, reaction I had was how happy I was. It's the thankful. owner, Larry Bird, the LAFC. Fans at home. I mean, celebrating with the fans who've been such a huge part of our journey uh, was very special. And then the second thing that struck me was how much it all meant to Carlos. You know, Carlos was our first signing. He's been our leader. He's been our MVP. And um, he's been fantastic off and on the field. And this just, just meant so much to him. And to see that up close was, was really cool. No, those images were incredible. And for you, Brandon, what makes LAC so special to the community? And what are you looking forward to next in today's celebrations? Yeah, you know, LAC's always been about community. Um, this whole club has been a collaboration with community, and it brings people together here in Los Angeles. It's a reflection of our fandom. And so, you know, I think, and, and when you go into the stadium, if you've been in the stadium, you can feel the community. Um, and you probably, if you're coming as an away team, you know, you're probably a little bit, that, that, that works against you too. So it's, it's a big part of who we are. And I think, you know, winning is also really important to us. We've had some incredible runs. Got gotcha, you, motherfucker. The, the 2019 no, I didn't. Supporter Shield run was a big Oh, one. we got a party. Um, but we didn't quite close it on the Flames, cup, you're on stream, the, by the way. The 2020 um, CCL, which was also. What up, Flames? Uh, let's go return to Labo. Just a half hour out, guys. Long time. I'll have to entertain you for a while here. Do my best. Weather delay? I mean, no. It, 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 they, they said kickoff. 310. Like, and then I, they just showed the time. It's like. Half hour. Yeah. Great. By the way, let's mute flames just in case he slides into the old Discord. Da, da, da. Let's fight flames. Flames is already in here. Oh. All right, I'm ready. Wait a second. Send him the old text. I'll let him know where I'm at. Oh, okay, cool. Communicated. Communicated. How are you guys liking this MLS coverage? I've seen Neo Tokyo saying MLS always lies about that kickoff time. Bow, ba, bow. Oh, bow, wicka, wow, wow. What's up? What's up? It's Flames Bond. Ooh, I didn't know we we're live. Sweet. Yeah, we are live. I'm watching a little MLS on the side. I thought it was supposed to be on right now, but now they're like, it said 310 kickoff, but now they're like, half hour to kickoff. But my plan was to play a little, my plan was to play Fortnite the entire match. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, a, I'm of a medium interest. It's like, you know, I have it on the side, take a look, they score a goal, but like, oh. Nice. Hang out, hang out with the peoples on Very the YouTubes. Nice. And it's a nice Saturday. I got outside with the puppy, was playing outside and. Yeah, we got like half a foot of snow last night and then it's all melting away. Cause it's like 55, 60 degrees outside. Yeah, it's made the ground a little, really soggy. I had to give the dog a bath already, but we have. Fun. Wow, that is some work. Oh yeah, I mean, it was did hey, we finish on a win last night, James? I dude, we finished on a crazy that. dub. I had like uh, 10 kills or something crazy. Two-man dub. Intense endings. Uh, just uh, it's been some good games. Chess in. Hello, right. James. The uh, game's not scheduled till 4.55 Eastern. What the heck? Well, then why does it say 3.10? On, 
on uh, Apple TV. Oh, I hopped. Apple TV dude. got that. I hopped so you're fast. Good. You're good. You're uh, good. You want to go to our spot? Go on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can make it. I might be. Sh no, I think I can. I'll let you know if I'm short, but might be cutting it close here. Four o'clock east. All these other oh, games some, are gonna be going on. Got some but, homies coming. So, oh, I see oh, yeah, that. Maybe. And they're gonna land. Maybe we should land here. Nah, the no. fuck them. All right, you're Kill right. Them. I'll land wherever you land, so we have a duo. Is this a, is this a no swearing stream? Might have no. messed us up. No, we could drop. Oh shit! You're with them. Oh shit! I hit the bunny. I hit the bunny. Ooh, later. I'm going over. I'm here. gone. I'm on this. There's nobody on the barge. If you need help, you're down. Uh, you just aimbotted me. That's crazy. <laughs> and two of them have the same. They're both wearing the same skin I am. Hope they heal. That's crazy. What are some the OG skin. There's some tryhards. All right, let's put a little shield on before I go try and take these guys on. I got an idea. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. How you doing? I got an idea. Watch this. I high IQ play. Oh, they just got shields. Okay. But this is high high IQ because I don't have a partner. True. Later. Or do I? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you put, did you hire him really quick? Yeah, I hired her real quick, but it didn't work. They laser beamed me. Game time soon. Let's chat. All right, I'm readying it up. Unless you want to meet back in. Uh... Let's ready up, ready up, ready up. Oh, unless we, oh, okay. Unless you, uh, my other option, we, I'm ready, I readied up. But next game, we could, we could slip yeah. into matching skins if we want. Yeah, we can do that. Well, oh, they're not wearing the same skin. One of them was. Or somewhat similar skins to confuse them. Hey, girl. <laughs> Chat say, hey, hey girl. girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Talk with a valley girl accent. Yeah, I don't I don't even know how to do a valley girl accent. Hi. Welcome to the welcome to the the state with the, like all the sun. You ask questions <laughs> like all the sun. I think. That's pretty OK, actually. Got Ooh. some got some stuff in there that works. Ooh. Sometimes my Polish accent turns Russian. Joe's like, oh, yep, 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 yep. It often turns Russian. Joe's like, what happened there? <laughs> I'm like, I do not know. <laughs> I do not know, child. Oh, sh Nikes. Hey girl, I'm trying to say it in a Russian uh -huh. accent. Hey girl, this is this is your friend Igor, calling. Same skins like Buffalo Bill. Shit. Good movie, Silence of the Lambs. Worth a watch if you've never seen it. But absolutely, yeah. You know, what age? What age are you expose them to, to Silence of the Lambs? Uh, 18, 19. No, too younger. <laughs> it like rubs 16, the lotion on the skin. 13. And if it doesn't, it gets the hose again. <laughs> um, heading over there. Going, yeah, long jump. We got meta. We got meta. I'm, cl I'm clicking the old. My favorite thing on this keyboard auto run. Hands free guarantee. Oh, yeah. Yep, auto run all the way. And you got enough time to like just put a little lotion on, lube it up, get one go get one off, and back in the game. Kid, being crass. Will Ferrell, they're doing a little Will Ferrell feature right now. He apparently is the owner, part owner of LAFC. Got Matthew McConaughey, part owner of. Austin FC. Chicago Fire, meanwhile, have no celebrity owners. Just a billionaire owner who's not even the 10th top 10 richest billionaire in MLS. Wow. He's, 
He's not even in the top 10. Loser. Loser. Not even top 10 in MLS. Boring. Boring. No. I, I, it's actually astounding. Billionaires have so much. That's that's just got billions. very hard to comprehend. It's yeah, very hard to comprehend how much money that yet, is. Yet he's not even the richest billionaire in MLS. Jody Foster almost saved politics in the 80s. You know this. That's what Chad's saying. Are you talking about taxi driver or some shit like that? Or talk about, hey Hello. girl. Hey girl. Gert, Scruff, McGuff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Nope. Yes. Got that stanky Wait. bow. Stank bow? Yep. It's a cool, cool thing to have. I'm gonna load up on this slurp truck. You can load up on the other unless you're next to me. Yeah, you can get it. I could wait two seconds. All right, I'm going. I'm right here. Yeah. You're right there. Sounds like boom. Oh. Crash crane. All right, loaded. We're locked and loaded. Locked How old is this? And smoted. Load up. Let's get a little. Ah, uh, definitely. Daddy! Jesus. <laughs> Drop that. Now some ammo. John Hinckley, what are we talking about? Reagan history in here. Jody Foster almost saved, I mean, John Hinckley. John Hinckley, Jesus. Talking about Reagan? John Hinckley Jr. who, and his brother who dined at George Bush Sr.'s house the night before the Reagan assassination? Is that what you're referring to? Madness. Get my tinfoil real quick. Yep. Just put that on. We're only facts here. <laughs> only you facts. Are, you already looted the lake? You fast. <laughs> you fast. All right. Oh, Let, I got a oh, blue six shooter. Yeah, we got to get out of here. If you get one of those. I don't have uh, what I wanted here. Remember our dual streams, bro? That was next level. Dude! No, no one's ever done that. I'm like, I still haven't seen it. I'm like, that is so cool. It's so cool. Uh, I could pull that up, but right now I have... Um, no, not right the, now, not right I have MLS now. going on the side out. there, but... That, Ooh, that was were some of my favorite streams to watch because, like, one person died, but the other person's still going. You can see what's going on. You can kind of see what's going on. It's cool. Do you not know he was Jody Foster's stalker and did that to impress her? Oh, so John Hinckley did that to impress Jodie Foster, the actress who he was very much attracted to. And he went and shot Reagan. Wow. Oh, there's guys parachuting really close to you, man. Yeah, they are. Um, Do you see that? Yes. I'm going to go inside here and bunker up, so to speak. I see you He's popping out. Of... They, they might not know shield I'm here. Gone. They're, I think they're on me now. They they're went the southeast. Basement. They don't know where I'm at. They went past it. Yeah, I like that. I got a cool little secret down here that I'm in. It's Tokyo saying, uh, facts are not conspiracies, says Pixel Face Killer. <laughs> they're not conspiracies. They're conspiracies until they're facts, which they're they have. That happens a lot. Sometimes it only takes about six months for it to go conspiracy to fact. That's our, that's a going rate right now. It's about six months. It is, it is. Conspiracy to fact. Yep. Sometimes I have to go on the conspiracy subreddit just to get breaking news. I'm like looking at the news. I'm like, this is two days old. I, I don't care about this. And it's it, two days old. And with... then you check the tweet and you're like, someone tweeted about this six months ago. <laughs> Jesus. It's like current events. It's just like random fucking shit that seems designed to not 
keep you informed. Well, yeah, we're, we got And then go to conspiracy, it's like actually interesting. I'm like, okay, okay. I can In decide if this is real or not. Information inundation. It's just like so much information. I'm learning more, I'm learning about Fortnite, I'm learning about MLS, I'm learning about politics. And I'm learning about, um, Jesus, it's just like, there's so much information. Before it's like everybody just sat inside and read books. Now we got these crazy ass video games. I'm beaming in a live stream of the MLS match. What we have with technology is kind of insane. Can you restream it? No. Right. I can't restream it, but I'm I'm watching it live with these with, with these fine people in the chat. Do you think you could talk to somebody and like maybe get permission to restream? Yes. That'd be so the coolest. Some people thing. get. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had no we idea. We had, uh, so some people oh, there's do a thing right here. Uh, they, some people do have that ability with like the NFL. I saw that uh, it was like FaZe Clan or somebody in FaZe Clan had that ability to, to basically watch Monday Night Games on YouTube. But they're licensed. They get like licensed by the NFL. Right, right, right. I feel like the MLS or specifically the fire might have some well it's at it's with apple broadcasting TV rights now. over their own stream yeah they have apple tv has oh, now their exclusive okay. yeah, you won't they, be able to. they purchased they their exclusive yeah they paid a lot of money for that shit yeah let's go with that tokyo saying uh, i remember the skate punk band jody foster's army We gotta go. Well, actually, not too far. I don't really see anybody, James. I don't like where we are. We yeah. Get somewhere better. All right, let's move. Yeah, we we got high ground eaten. wins so often in this mode. And we got so eaten often. last time. Yeah, and you know what happened that one time? We went to like an area with a castle, and we're like, oh, we're safe. And there are people on top of the castle. Just pop, 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 pop. Pounded us. Oh yeah, that was awful. But yesterday we got the duo win coming from underneath. We surprised them. True. 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 But they were also, then we met them on even ground. In the end, yeah. Dude, you were, like, the way you were playing does not seem like the James that I know. I'm like, like knew before. You were very much improving, like, mechanical skill-wise. It's insane. Who's that fucking guy? Oh, yeah, yesterday we were burnt beaming. I'm sure you have to back you're going the, crazy, man. I'm sure you have to back the Vinx truck, says chat. I'm sure that act turned her lap into a water park. <laughs> what is this guy? Mushroom Haven. Mr. Oh, shit. Rated here, X. Maybe. Rated X for extreme. Rated for extreme football league. Oh, we got people ahead of us. Let's go high ground. Yep. Yeah. Some people real close. That's scary. Watch out. I think we should just start shooting at them. Yeah, Ooh, let's look over this cliff. We might we might just have the fucking... Yeah, we, we got the fucking we, nuts right now. Uh, they just went inside. His daddy's alone. He's chasing There's another something. guy over here I saw. Yep, 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 yep. How did that not log? Oh! You know what these fucking things do. Are we going down there? Because mm. I see... I see a valuable item. That. Is it worth? Yeah. I'll overwatch you. Alright. Here we go. I just fell. You're down there? Yeah, I'm not gonna grab that though. They're presenting trophies in the rings currently. Ah, that's why it's taking so long. Oh, dude, there's some good weapons. There's a purple, purple assault. If you want it? Take that. I 
think there was a guy in here, so I want to check this out. I'm going to drop all my shit for this chug gun. Dude, we could buy another guy, and there is a guy in here. Okay. Seize us. Oh, wait, no. You just jumped. The real guy? That way. Yeah, he was there. Shit. That's all right. Alright, I'm loaded on uh, shields. I think I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna key. drop the purple scar. I'm gonna take the uh, precision rifle. Okay. Oh, you're. Are you courting this guy? Oh shit! There's a bunch of guys over here, James. Careful. Oh, no, I'm stuck in my stupid thing. I don't want to shoot him, but they. Hey, if you come over there. here, we you might be able to hire Joni. We might be able to have two hires. Just watch your right. Oh, we just. Oh. That was nuts. I just fucking. Under, dude. Oh my god, he's so smart. He went under too. Oh, I should have done my Kamehame right there! Serious players, I might have to... 10 minutes to kick to off. I'll go back to Labo real quick. Yeah, let's go back to Labo. Give me a minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll then take a one minute. I gotta grab something. All right, chat. You know what? I've been drinking a little less. I've been drinking a little less, which is good as you get older. You want to drink less. I'm just, I'm just choosing the, the moments. Always enjoyed drinking. Never had an issue with it. I mean, people you can absolutely develop issues with drinking. But cheers, everybody, whatever you're drinking. Be it water, beer, soda, or high grade malk. What's good, kid? All right, Bella. Oh, we're, we're drinking today. Oh, this is actually pretty appropriate. Look at that. Look at that. Axeman. Hawker Shore. Say, say that, guys, can you? Hawker Shore. Contreras. What is up? 
Play by play, what's happening? Uh, I'm just gonna be kind of watching on the side. I got a little uh, Fortnite on. I'm gonna be playing a little Fortnite, queuing into the match when something exciting happens. Uh, reacting with all you guys live. I won't be really be doing too too much play by play. More of a watch along here, having fun with you guys. And of course, the live chat's like the, one of the best in the business. We always have people who are watching the match live, and they put in their banter here. Better than Twitter. It's more active and more live, frankly. What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us here at Spitfire. I appreciate all of you coming on through. Hello. And as always, the Discord's open if you guys want to swing in and uh, drop a few words and just talk a little banter about what is it, the LAFC, MLS, little Portland, heck, Chicago Fire, who play later today against New York City. That's later tonight, 7.30. Don't know if I'll be live streaming that. Why not watch it, but UFC plays fights start around then, so I want to watch a little bit of both. And also, 9 o'clock... <laughs> when that real UFC match begins. What's the deal with the fire injury report? What Chicago Fire says is wildly different than what New York City has out there. Let's go take a look. I'm gonna go to NYCFC. See what they have, NYC. FC. Where is it? Yes, the football club. For the city. Two are missing for the trip to Chicago. Stephen Turnbull. Been loaned to the club. Uh Trayvon Tavon Gray. Alfredo Morales is out. What about Chicago? I'm not seeing their, uh, I'm not seeing their injury report. For NYCFC and Chicago. I'm not seeing that. But interesting. All right. Get back to that game. I'd like to see this game. Okay, there. Somebody's singing. I can't play it. I cannot play it. What's going on here? Does this need a refresh? Yes, it did. There we go, chat. Yes, indeed. I'm glad to watch later tonight to see something. And James Sands back in the fold for NYCFC and Crush. The Chicago Fire, maybe even put them out at home. It's gonna be hey, Jamesy. Hat. What's going I'm on, brother? Off. I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, I was gonna hop off. Sorry to keep you. No, no worries, dude. I'm just kicking it, having fun. Either way. Good. Good luck with the stream, bro. All right, dude. If you want to hop back on, just go for it. All right, cool. All right, later. later. All right, he's disconnected. I'm gonna go back into. Solo. Nah, NYCFC says hella our players are out. Says hella our players out, but we only have two guys listed. So I have to see this. Um See what I can pull up for us. Trying to pull up the injury reports for Chicago. Match details. Maybe they've got the updated. Hold on one second, boys and girls. The wife is calling.
About to kick off here. Let's go. A guy's having some trouble on the field already. I think it's Charo who got knocked in the chest and he's having a hard time breathing right now. First seconds of the game. Been knocked out and it looks like he should be okay, but we'll see here in a minute. Thanks for bearing with me, everybody. That was Mrs. Spittin' Fire, my wife. Just keeping in contact with me. Double check and let me know the plan for today. Kevin Gray's out due to lower body in, uh, ever since Nashville, including Alfredo Morales. Also out. That's fine. We could use, uh, we could have used Mitya Ilinich. We could have used them, but uh, Mitya Ilinich will take over for Gray. Courtesy of Brother BKL Contreras. Love to hear it. Thank you guys all for stopping by. Love the banter. Love the talk. Parley. Yeah. Hey, brother. It's the Archduke himself. Let's go. Call him checking in from St. Louis. Dude, does St. Louis play today? What's going on, Archduke? Duke, Duke. I'm due. Let's have a schedule. St. Louis plays at 7.30 p.m. Same time as Chicago. They're playing Charlotte FC. All right. Oh. Bro. Oh. Blowing sword. Look at this horrible aim.
horrible aim. Five minutes into this match, the LAFC fans are getting hyped. Evander. Yaroslav Nitskoda. Oh, that man in the middle was Evander. We didn't know. Meanwhile, for LAFC, they got Dennis Buanga, Quadlo Opoko, Carlos Vela, Kellen Acosta, Ely Sanchez, Jose Fuentes, Ryan Hollingshead, Jesus Marillo, Giorgio Chiellini, Diego Palacios. Oh, how did I die? How did I die? Maybe it's because I suck. John McCarthy and that. We got a core kick. I didn't even set that up, did I? Just click that. What does this say? LAFC versus Portland. AFC Portland. There we go. Watch ML. S. MLS. There we go. Change the, uh, should set that up. Also, what's happening, Angus? Good to see ya. Hi, James. St. Louis plays at the 7.30 time slot. Inaugural home opener. It's going to be insanely crowded at the stadium today. Very excited. Let's freaking go. these off close those oh all right so that's saved oh, let's move out of here not worry about that anymore. Let's get back to the freaking game. We have something coming in from the corner. It's going to be a little free kick. 28 yards outside of the box. Coming in from that left-hand flank. Right-hand flank, I'm sorry. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper's there. The hell am I? Angus went to a pre-day game match last night at the brewery across the street from the stadium. Uh, I'm sorry, pre-day uh, pre game party. And it was a blast. The beer flows like wine in St. Louis. Got some good stuff down there. Some tasty suds to some tasty drinks. Good people. The family out there in St. Lou. People who went to those schools, some good schools in St. Louis. Wow. As far as pharmacies and uh, paid pharmacy school in St. Louis, that's one of them. couple of buddies that graduated from there. They got a good physical therapy unit. Mm. 
Have you guys been enjoying MLS this season? Do you guys think it's going to be as good as last season? Or do you think... Oh. Or do you think it's going to fall short because of this deal with Apple TV? Because the less eyes are on the product because it's just not on over-the-air TV as readily. Do you think that that MLS might suffer or is bringing is bringing um, Messi here Healing up. Oh. Oh. Who the hell was shooting at me? I like that gun. Yeah. Upgrade. Zero zero score line. For that. Where is this? There it is. Yeah. Now let's go hire that guy. Person walking. Thank you. That is the help I needed, chat. St. Louis University, Washington University, University of Missouri at St. Louis and Webster College, all great schools. my eyes peeled.
Great. I heard that there's a bunch of people at the St. Louis go to the St. Louis game too. Chat same. And we're moving on. Trade. Yes. Dagger. How much does it cost to upgrade? Three hundred. Too much. Um. Ass. What the fuck? How did that happen? What just happened? You did you somehow alert to me? We need to get in a car. Get in a car. Shit. Did I just run by? Better car? Have a seat. Heal. Healing. Are you Halo guy? I love Halo. Sorry. Sorry, right, a little birdie. Gotta make moves. All here. I met your Fortnite character. I am a, I am Halo right now. Um, so let's go back to Labo. 
slip into something more comfortable. 20 minutes in, and somebody's getting a concussion check. Spinning fire. Fire it up. Costa. Costa looks like he's been a bit done up by somebody. How are you doing there? How are you doing there, my couple of fool? So much fun earlier. I gotta check outside right now. I'll be right back. I gotta get my puppy outside before it rains. 40 second minute. Be right back.
We got a goal. We got a goal. What the hell happened? Well, I was walk walking my dog. Oh, hey, FC goal. This is not the biggest box of Cheez-Its you ever did see. <laughs> it's like comically huge. This is awesome. But you're a madman. Not yet. Not yet, Toke. We'll be working on that backyard at our palatial home in the future. Not quite a palatial home quite yet. You got the giant box of Cheez-Its. That's something. When you guys eat Cheez-Its, do you eat Cheez-Its more than one at a time? I eat Cheez-Its one at a time. Do you have any other chips that you do that with? Like maybe Pringles? Or maybe even Bugles? Only one at a time. <laughs> maximum flavor. We go four for maximum flavor, right? Cover all the tongue. Oh, yeah. Oh, three. A lot of colors. A lot of cover for three. So that might be too much. Too much cheese it in my mouth at one time. But well, one cheese it. I fucking hate the song. Delete it? Nah. go. Sounds like a Tony Hawk song. Giorgio Chiellini goal when I step out and use the bathroom. Damn it! At least I got to watch my fire stick. Yeah, I got it going on my uh, PC here. Via web browser. Watch out, there's a guy sitting there. I haven't used any of his upgrades.
LAFC trying to score. Can they do it? Not quite yet. What is this, PK? Penalty. Penalty kick. The LAFC. The warranted? Carlos Vela standing over it. LAFC is number 10. There's people recording on their phone. Guess what? There's a video recording of this right now being taken of by better videos than you got. Goal. Very, very boring goal. <laughs> no! la, 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 so! LAFC, Carlos Vela. Pots it in the back of the net. Great jersey. And number, that Vela number 10 jersey. That's a good jersey. This guy has just come to MLS and just dominated. He's been amazing. It's a shame that Mexico wasn't able to call on him. He's one of their. He's got to be one of their best players. Very casual. Do nothing. Thick movement. She put. Did you take one in the nuts? Oh shit! He doesn't even have anything long range. He is nothing long range right now. What the fuck was that? Aimbot. 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 Uh, report. Report player. How to report at screen. A train. <laughs> Report player. Hacking. The train. Game bot. Wall hack. Boom. No way, dude. No way.
no way. Speaking of Mexico, Diego Coca as manager for Mexico. I'm not sure he's as good at it, but he's been pretty bad on an Atlas club and he was all right for Tigres. How will he turn out for the US men's national team? Or sorry, for the Mexican national team, it remains to be seen. We got a third goal here. Oh, no, no. But that was Giorgio Chiellini's very first goal for club for LAFC. Ripped up from behind, buddy. Oh, you're fucked. What are you looking at, bro? Interesting. Get good, dog. Don't complain. Get good. Three people left. This guy might run into those people in that crate. This crate. This guy could be... Got an eyeball on all of them. This guy's got the mega advantage. His, he's got all this height on all of them. Don't go down there, dude. Say hi. You got all this height. Oh, this guy's going down. He's gone. Oh, he made it.
There it is. Another injury? Jeez, 2 nothing says Dan Geringer. Getting ugly quick. Dan Garriger addresses some household problems and the missed goals in one comment. Sheesh. Two nothing. Makes me wonder what the two nothing applies for in the house. <coughs> two? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Some sort of test? Two? Nothing. <laughs> Could be one. Ding dong. Ouch. Locked in. Can't see me. Uh... Uh... What are you trying to do, Portland? Always thank you, Buzz Driver. Anyone else see that Arsenal goal? Guys, we got to talk about that Arsenal goal at extra time. Thank you for bringing it up, Dan. Wow. I was watching that with the wife early this morning. We always love to watch early, uh, or we like to watch morning soccer, EPL. Uh, MLS should look into it, but I don't know who's going to go. But I like, <laughs> I like watching it from home. I like watching that morning soccer. So we had the Arsenal game on. Actually, we had the Leeds game on from Chelsea. Ch uh, Chelsea took it down one nothing. The game ends and then they bleed into extra time of Arsenal. Arsenal taking on Bournemouth and boy golly, this scores 2-2, 94th minute. There's six minutes of stoppage time and it's the ninth and it finally hits like the 97th minute and there's a corner kick and like the ref cancels. Like I can't call it yet. I mean like, not you know, it's not right. So they didn't call it. And on this corner kick, it comes down, settles at, goes across, bounces out to Nelson. Nelson takes one touch down, bangs it into the corner of the net on the far side from that corner. He shot it from the uh, from the top of the uh, from the top of the 20 of the uh, the yard box. But and man, oh man, a beautiful goal for Arsenal to end up taking it in a huge surprise. I gotta test this out. The difference. Eighty five. Ninety two. One point three. Eighty five. One point four. This was faster, but or, or hot, hot harder, but slower. Okay, wait, so do it again. B, so that's a 92. I think we go with the auto. Okay. Thanks for the adjustment. Great strike. It was incredible. Dan Gertrude says, great strike. First time I've seen the coach show some emotion. Yeah, uh, coach definitely, uh, Arteta. Got excited got out. who couldn't get up for that one that one's just an incredible and really means a lot to arsenal season as they're really trying to do their best 
make it all the way finish strong to finish the champions like nobody saw that thought they'd be able to do it nobody thought arsenal would be it. they're like oh yeah they'll be in it but they won't be winning it no they're winning it the first goal in the arsenal bournemouth was the second fastest goal in epl history bournemouth scored wow That's nuts, too. Ooh, look at this. We'll check it out. Ooh. we pick it up LAFC threatening. Oh shit, he's marking me. Oh shit. Time to book it. Get me out of the storm. There you go. We see a motorcycle. I need it. Motorcycle. Run out of gas. Running out. 
That's good. fish huge let's get this fish um stink bow we'll grab let's go fuck i couldn't get away fast enough bro you down for some late night Fortnite later uh after the fire game i'll be to be watching the ufc match UFC big fights tonight, nine o'clock, they start. Uh, so I am Fortnite now. I don't think I'll be able to Fortnite later because I'll probably be watching those those fights. There's a, I have to, I gotta watch those fights a lot closer. It's not like soccer, I could turn away, see what's happening. So that is my current plan was to watch a little UFC at tonight at nine o'clock. Got some big fights. Cyril Gaon versus John Jones. Bo Nickel fighting tonight too. He's exciting. A couple other good fights. I believe that MC Manchester City will win it all in the end though, says Angus. We're gonna have to take a look at the EPL table right now. They're right behind them. They're right on their tail. It's 38 game season, 12 games left. And if Arsenal flounders at all, Man City hot on their heels. Right now, Arsenal is playing a game of hot potato. I think it's halftime. Halftime, 2 nothing. Bournemouth is in threat of relegation, so is Southampton and Everton. Leeds is just one point out of relegation. West Ham, two points out. Everybody in chat, who do you think is going to win APL? Do you think Arsenal will be able to hold it off? Are you in agreement with Angus McDuke, Archduke himself, that Manchester City is going to come back and overtake them? Dan Garrett was saying that five points separate them right now. Arsenal truly needs every win. This tune I love. Like you can put this in a move. You can put that. You can do so much with this tune. Such a mysterious tune. I have not been getting any of those hammers. I like those hammers. I have not been getting any of those. I'm not sure, says FC Neo Tokyo, but it seems like LAFC is pretty good at the soccer thing. And when you look at their hat, team, I mean, Carlos Velo, Jose, Jose Sofuentes, Ryan Hollingshead over on that right flank, really good. Dennis Buanga, Kellen Acosta, Diego Palacios on that left flank, also pretty darn decent. I mean, you got a U.S. Men's National International over on that left wing. It's Kellen Acosta I'm talking about. Cuadro Poco. Opoku, Illy Sanchez. I mean, dude, how are we sleeping on Giorgio Chiellini? The, probably the, one of the best center defenders in the league, even though he's like 40 fucking five. Testing that theory. Chiellini. Chiellini. 
He's 38 years old, chat. 38 for 1984. Toke saying that Arsenal could, should, will win. Would never count out an epic collapse. Never count out an epic Arsenal collapse. Dan Garrett, you're asking who has the more difficult schedule. Let's take a look. Let's close the league. So Fulham Arsenal, that's a full that's an Arsenal win. Crystal Palace Arsenal, Arsenal win. Arsenal Leeds should be an Arsenal win. Arsenal Liverpool, that's gonna be a tie. Arsenal West Ham, win. Arsenal Southampton should be a win. Arsenal Man City, that'll be a loss. Arsenal Chelsea, that'll be a loss. Ars or yeah, could be uh, could be a could be a tie. Arsenal Newcastle could be a tie. Arsenal Brighton, that's a win, six. Ars uh, Arsenal Nottingham, that's seven wins. Arsenal Wolves, that's eight wins. If they get eight wins, let, they're, they're due eight wins there. Let's just go to Man City. And see what wins they're due. Crystal Palace for one win. Man City versus West Ham, two wins. Liverpool, that's a tie. Southampton, that's three wins. Leicester City, that's a tie. Man Brighton, that's four wins. Arsenal, that's a win. I already counted it. Fulham, that's a win. That's six. Leeds, that's seven. Everton, that's eight. Chelsea, that's a tie. Brentford, that's nine. Wow, guys. So I'm counting nine wins there for Man City. Eight wins for Arsenal. And Arsenal has a five point lead. So that would be enough. That would be enough in theory, not counting ties, not counting all that stuff, but just talking wins. What I think, you know, eight or nine wins for either club. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but that's where I'm sitting at it. I'm sitting, I could see them pegged for about nine wins for Man City and eight wins for Arsenal. And the difference is five points. Tokyo asking about the Chicago Fire saying, will Kamara be the other 38 year old to score today. Yes. Yes, he will. That'll be the 3 1 to the fire. Uh, I'm sorry, 3 1 to New NYCFC. The one will be Kamara coming on in substitution and getting one uh, and getting one in, you know, some uh, later, you know, as they're pushing. It'll be 1 to 2, and then NYCFC will finish it off and get one more, and it'll be 1 3. That'll be the finishing score. The editors saying that they do look the same. Oh man, it's been fire. That's some complicated math right there. <laughs> Don't make me show my work. Oh, this guy ran right by him. He's right behind him. Oh, that was sick. These guys are pretty close together. That math had my head spinning. I thought it was pretty fair in the in the wins I gave him. And then I was like, you know, this could be a tie. This could be a, this. That's and the ones that I wasn't sure about. I was like, you know, maybe that's a tie or something. I only counted the sure wins. Seemingly should be should sure wins won't be, but.
So you gotta play him. Oh, he dropped it? Wow. You dropped it? Guy's a madman. Manchester City and Arsenal will beat Chelsea, in my opinion. Chelsea's just not up to their standards right now. I did count that one as a tie. So there's the Copa del Rey. In addition, says Brother BKL. And ever since I heard from the manager of Real Madrid, they will not be repeated against Barcelona. Do you think Real Madrid got mistakes? Had mistakes in Copa del Rey? Look, Real Madrid, the We'll check out the check out the thing. So leg one of two, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Barcelona is up one nothing. So the second leg will be played April fifth. Let's take a look at that. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Copa del Rey. Let's find out what's going on there. Go to news. Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Xavi's men win El Clasico in the Copa del Rey semifinal, the first leg. So what was brother BKL saying? Heard from the manager that Real Madrid will not be repeated, that they won't lose. So what's going to happen in leg two? I mean, I always think that Real Madrid would be the better team and probably does beat Barcelona, but it's going to be a hard one to come back from for sure. I think, though, that Real Madrid comes back. I just think that they're better overall than, Bar than, uh, than Barcelona. But what would have happened between Holland and Pep ever since he didn't trust each other? Uh, so what would have happened? What happened between Holland and Pep? Let's find out. I don't know. Holland is leading the league in goals. So I'm not sure what's going on with me, Holland and Pep because. Oh, my goodness. Erling Holland might be going over to Real Madrid. That's what's happening. Real guard, Pep Guardiola tight lipped on Erling Holland agents Real Madrid comments. And Manchester United have revived their interest in Barcelona for midfielder Frankie De Jong. Firmino is leaving Liverpool at the end of the season. People want the Chicago Fire. To go in for Roberto Firmino. Company 
Vincent Company might replace Pep Guardiola as the next Manchester City manager whenever the Spaniard Pep Guardiola decides to leave the club. Chupo Motang, Penn's Bayern expansion. Declan Rice will be the future England captain, says Moyes. I don't answer to agents. Tight-lipped on Erling Holland agents' Real Madrid comments. It's from the 3rd of March yesterday. Pep Guardiola has refused to discuss comments from Erling Holland's agent referring to Real Madrid as a dream destination for players. The remarks from Rafaela Pimenti this week in the FT Business of Football Summit were not specifically about Holland, but have nevertheless fueled speculation. It's linking to Manchester City that the Spanish Giants with the Spanish Giants. Pimenta, a Brazilian lawyer who's taken over the running of Mino Reola's agency after his death last year, said that there's the Premier League and then there's also Madrid. They have something on their own. That is also the dream for the players. Madrid keeps the magic going. They don't have the weekly competitions, but they have the Champions League. Asked about Pimenta's comments at a press conference on Friday, city manager Guardiola said, I don't answer to agents, no comment. Is he worried about losing Erling Holland to Manchester to Real Madrid? I don't think anytime soon. I can't imagine. That, uh, I, but however, if Pep Guardiola leaves this next at the end of this season, do we really think Erling Holland wants to re stay in Manchester City without a Pep Guardiola there to guide him? And seemingly, is he even doing that well under the guidance of Pep Guardiola? They got all these pundits constantly saying, "Hey." Should we sit Erling Holland, even though he's the league leader in goals in the M in EPL? It's fucking madness. Oh yeah, there's an MLS game going on. Oh, it's been halftime, guys. It's been halftime for all that time. We've just been hanging out. Thanks for joining us here on Spitfire, kicking it with us. If he does go, though, Dan Garager says, Manchester City should go after Jao Felix. Brother BKL said, yeah, that was the rumor. Dan Gerger saying, is that a rumor? I have not heard that one. Dan Gerger asking also about what do we think of the Chelsea story? Spending almost 800 million and nothing to show for it. Money makes the world go round. In and out. Scream and shout. That's what makes the world go round. Left and right, day and night. That's what makes the world go round. In and out, thin and stout. That's what makes the world go round. For every up, there is a down. For every square, there is a round. For every high, there is a low. For every two, there is a fro. To and fro, stop and go. That's what makes the world go round. In and out, thin and stout. Merlin! Merlin! I swallowed a bug! Oh, what, what, what's wrong with that boy? After all, my boy, you are a fish. Uh, instinct, you know. Well, you said I have no instinct. Yes, yes, of course. Cool. Oh, oh, I did. Well, well, that's neither here nor there. But the main thing is that you must set your sights on the heights. Don't be a mediocrity. A, me a mediocrity? That's right. Don't just wait to trust to fate and then that say that's how it's meant to be it's up to you how far you go if you don't try you'll never know and so my lad as i've explained nothing ventured nothing gained left and right day and night that's what makes the world go round in and out thin and stout that's what makes the world go round for every up there is a down for every square there is a round for every high there is a low for every two there is a fro to and fro stop and go that's what makes the world go round in and out
thin and stout. That's what makes the world go round. For every two, there is a fro. For every stop, there is a go. And that's what makes the world go round. Oh, let's go. Let's go. What? What? Gotta be one of my favorite movies. <laughs> In the comments, in the comments, what movie is that from? What Disney movie is that from? Let us know in the comments. If you're still here, if <laughs> you made it through. <laughs> if you made it through that. All right, we're starting off. First minute. MLS back on. Game on! Not to mention, Manchester City will be in the championship within two years due to all those point deductions. Yeah, Erling Holland's gonna want out. And that's like, they don't have much there. Chelsea's in trouble. Man City, if they lose Pep, potentially in trouble. Chihuahua. Oh, I got kicked out. Toe called it. Toe called it. Sword and the stone. Sorry I say it all. I literally got stuck in it and I'm like, oh my god, I love this. <laughs> I, was like, I'm, I was just like, oh my god, this is a cookie I just want to chew on. You ever have that where it's just like something so good you're just like, I don't want this to end. This guy's a... I'm in trouble. I'm gonna have to go over here. Bullets, that's a bullet. <laughs> Dangerous, I'll take that. DMR! Making moves. Oop, I like it. Blue pistol. Toss that in the old inventory. Any... I think there's something in here. You gonna crack already or what? Oh, fuck. Where's he coming from? Fiftieth minute. Joke, are you going to the game? Anybody going to the fire game? Anybody going to MLS games today? We're gonna be a oh, nice little flip there. Are you gonna be enjoying with us via Apple TV Plus?
Holy! What? Holy! Woo! Uh. That pole's been going. Another goal coming here. Here it is. LFC. Thanks for a heads up on that. That came just five seconds before. I got to see it come across my screen. LAFC goal three, nothing. It's a poku. Guys, like, it's just so fun. MLS, guys. Oh, man. You know what? I've been... Are you guys feeling it? Like, maybe it's like the longer we enjoy MLS, the better it gets. Literally, it's getting better every season. The soccer gets better. The presentation is now legit. Truly legit. Never been in this area, so let's check this area out. Shadow Tracker is great, but. Okay, let's. Um... Oh, wait, I dropped my gun. I get some shields. Let's go. No! It's game over. Just game over, says Archduke. I don't even need to play anymore. Just why bother? Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Hmm. We'll trade this in. All right, if there is, I'm looking for, oh, we'll look over there. There's a nice little, do you think LAFC could repeat this season? No, I think yes, it's possible, but do I think it's gonna happen? No, I don't think they have enough. They have they lost Gareth Bale and for, for as much, as little as he provided that team, it was what they needed. It was everything they needed. So they need something like that now. Because Carlos Vela cannot just carry this team all alone. Yes, he can do it now. Yes, he can do it early season. Yes, he can do it all season long. Yes, he could take them all the way to the promised land. But in order to get over that extra little hump, that extra little thing, they're gonna need a good player. They're gonna need somebody.
Ooh. I would love a hammer. Got another key. Love it. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Always check out these coolers. Now they're just offered fish, but something in here. Let's get it. Still three nothing. LA just moved into second place, moving ahead to St. Louis and are behind just Seattle in the West. Seattle had a bum season last season. I do not expect that to continue. Do you guys? Do we really think that Seattle's going to have a down season again? Oh, platinum treasure chest. Don't need that health. We're good. Whatever that noise was, it freaked me out for a second there. We got plenty of ammo, but... Oh, something like moved over here. What are, are these transformers? Yeah, there's something going on there. Subs coming in for Portugal. Portland, you know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> hmm. Got for movement. You were real? What the fuck? What the fuck? Not sure what happened there. What about CONCACAF Championship League? Do they, uh, are they gonna be able to win? Or will any MLS club be able to win that? Didn't Seattle win CONCACUF Championship? So, I mean, MLS has now got a chance to win it in any given season. That opened the door. No longer are the, the, the Liga MX teams just going to flat out dominate the CONCACAF Championship. Archduke thinks that uh, Seattle will be a lot better this year. It probably won't be great, though. I think there's other MLS games going on, too. Soon. 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, 6.30. All these 6.30 matchups. Wow. Well, oh, Jesus. I'm not sure I like this schedule. I'm not sure I'm liking this schedule. You guys liking the schedule for MLS where they have these Saturday games, only Saturday games? I mean, on the one hand, it is nice, but I don't think it is going to be like this every weekend. Brother BKL says the LAFC, Austin FC, Philadelphia, Vancouver, Probably going to be the uh, the MLS teams that are in the CONCACAF championship and 
they might have a chance to do something. All those teams. Vancouver, you know, might not, might want to put all their eggs in the basket for that one. Austin, too. Meanwhile, Philadelphia probably wants to go for the league. Probably wants to go for the MLS Cup. LAFC probably wants to go for MLS Cup. Archduke saying we got a lot of charge shot coming from Portland. Goal. Portland goal. Big, great goal for Portland there. We didn't start the fire. But we are always burning and we triple dunk dare you. We have a lot of tournaments. I think the MLS has to cut our MLS back his tournament. Aren't you saying that they gotta get rid of the MLS's back tournament? Just no. It's just no. Just no. That, that's how we feel about this MLS's back tournament. Portland with a really nice goal there, guys. And you're saying that I am not in love with the schedule. They have way too many games on Saturday. They need to stagger them a little bit more. Maybe have a few games on Sunday. Like there should be a Monday night game. There should be a few games on Sunday, a few games on Saturday. Isn't that like how the EPL does it to generally? They, the EPL mostly has games on Saturdays or Sundays. And then sometimes they'll have Monday night games, I think. It was Evander. Evander's been looking good for Portland. Definitely well, the, most, the most dangerous player. Needs to go to needs to do a little bit more. Oh, I got to feed my puppy. I'll be right back, boys and girls. Yeah, she's not a puppy either. She's <laughs> a couple years old. I just call her a puppy. You guys, you dog owners know what I mean. We ought to have Monday night football in the summer. That's when we need Monday night football. They should be doing Monday night MLS all through summer. Like starting from June to August. 
June, July, August. Monday night games. That'd be so awesome. Monday night games. Who doesn't love a Monday night game in the summer? Right? I'm on board. Toke's in. Dude, I hope this League's Cup thing flops and they just drop it. They should just invest in Cha CONCACAF Champions League. Having just MLS and Liga MX is stupid. Estupido. Dan Garinger saying 3-1 now. At least LAFC is up. Well, they took Bella off, it looks like. Interesting little play by the LAFC player. Ilini Opoku Vela, the goal scorers for LAFC. Evander, the goal scorer for Portland. What a horrible touch. Palacio's head just went down so far. Playing freaking drills right now. Crazy tackle. By Portland. Are you going to watch your angles there, bud? There's got to be two people there. That's nuts. This is sick. You're, you're, you're in trouble, buddy. How are you going to get down from here? You pulled it off. Nice sh bullet shooting. Shooting. Nice. Incredible there. He think he was dead? He's frozen or something? Does shit freeze? Shoot his balloons. He did. Phased out. This guy's in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, he's at 6,450. That's big. He's got all that back. What's your prediction for the CONCACAF Champions League upcoming? There's a schedule just released. Let's take a look.
Leon, Pachuca, Tigres, LAFC, Alajuelenens, Atlas, Violet AC, Orlando City FC, Whitecaps FC, Philadelphia, Alianza, Real España, Toro, Olympia, Austin FC, Motagua. My pick? Flip, 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 Delphia, flip, 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 Delphia, flip. Them or LAFC? LAFC. Mm. LAFC can go win. LAFC, CCL. LAFC can go win. LAFC will win it all. LAFC can go win. AFC will win it all. Something like that. EPL sometimes has Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday games. But I think it's dependent on those other leagues. Dude, I hope this... Oh, wait. Oh, blah, 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 blah. No, I already read that. 3-1. In come the subs. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Making some adjustments there. It's so sick. Oh, man. It's so sick. 3 1. That's where I'm going. Chiellini. 75th minute. Check one thing. Boom. Here we got bullets. Get a gun. Q 
keeping an eye out. Wait, what happened to my live match? Go back to live. There we go. Sorry. What's your game time right now? It's 76.30. Uh, so, I'm, uh, let's see. I'm reading your comment right now. It's 77th minute for me. 7703, 04, 05, 06, 07, 07, 08. I can see LT is winning, but I'm not sure for the League of MX Club. I didn't even pick any Liga of Mexico because I'm like, I, I don't know anything about them. I, it's just, for me, uh, it, it's like throwing darts at a dartboard, all the you know, Tigres. Right? Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, uh, give it to me. Oh, uh, give it to me. My best friend. Oh, let me just let me just sit here and watch this. Oh. Uh. What, uh, so 7840, 7841, 42, 44, 45. I'll take that. Anything else of worth? Yes, I'll take you. Is there another bike? I swear I saw another bike. Alright, well, say la vie. Get my other bike. Oh, hello, bullets. We'll go with those. Red Bull Insider, you excited for the game tonight? Let's go, RBI. Welcome back. Everybody, thanks for hanging out. Greatly appreciate it. Love talking soccer with you guys. Oh, I got a broken wheel. No, I don't want that. Oh, I guess I'll take it, right? It does a stink, though. Uh, that's where I started. Here we go. Come over here. You just set off my Siri. What did I say? Siri, can you call a Domino's pizza, please? <laughs> Who is Alianza? Alianza. Let's find out who Alianza is. Alianza. Alianza, simply known as Alianza Football Club, is a professional football club based out of at San Salvador, El Salvador. Founded in 
For me, oh. Let's go. Chat, you guys been loving MLS today? I mean, we've only had LFC going, but I don't know. Something about it's just been like, hmm, feels good. Something about it feels really good. Get out of dodge. Get those hands up. <laughs> See ya. Wow, 3-2 Portland. Portland, 3-2 uh, LAFC Portland is fighting back. You see this? this is this is ridiculous. What we'll the deal with it? Oh, he's one hit. Paredes. Plus, Alianza was the first Central American and San Salvadorian El Salvador club to win the CONCACAF Champions Club Cup way back in 1967. It's currently one of only three Salvadoran teams to have done so. So they're one of the good... El Salvador teams. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm grabbing a, cu a cup of water. And hopefully, let's make sure you guys can hear me. Hello, hello. Hello. I think, yes, okay, audio's good. Can't tell if you guys can kick me, but thanks for kicking it here with me this MLS Saturday here at Spin Fire. I don't know how good the graphics are behind me that I walk around the world of Fortnite, but whoo, 
need to get stretching guys, right? Oh, stretch those toes. If you've been sitting around all day, you wanna stand up, get up and move a little. Whew. Just a little motion in the ocean, right? I'm standing around all day. I mean, just sitting around, watching these games, getting the dog out, having some fun. Whew. Hopefully you guys are having a great little Saturday here. Thanks for joining us here on Spitfire. Thanks for hanging out here, guys. Just in the chat lurking, just having some fun. Whew. Taking a few cracks at the ball. It's coming across the plate and just like, mm -hmm. bing. Line me up another one. Oh. You guys can see this. It's green, so. Probably not. Oh, hi, Pooch. It's my Pooch. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Ooh. Interesting. Got some stuff back here. Some secret stuff. Oh, this is good. Did at the computer for a little too long there. Not using the closet cam. Hopefully, you guys took a little moment to stretch too. Stretch those legs, stretch those arms, stretch those fingers to the sky. I'll be Huckleberry. Good to stretch. Feels good to stretch. We've not had a draw yet in this young MLS season. Might we see one in this first game today? Portland trying to claw their way back into it. You gotta use these rocks. High ground. Four minutes of stoppage time. 90 12, 90 13, 90 14, 90 15, 90 16, 17, 18. Yellow card. He hit me. Why am I getting a yellow card, says the Portland player. He hit me. Yeah, it's totally. Why is the Portland player getting the yellow card? He did nothing. Fogaka. Or forgot. Yeah, for Fogaka. Fogaka did nothing. What was he supposed to do? He's just existing on the field and he got a yellow card. That yellow card should be rescinded. Taken back.
Never get the balloon. Spurs lost. Cheesh, what the heck? I mean, I don't know. I, I, that makes sense to me. Spurs, I, I, don't, I don't expect the Spurs to ever win. Every, every win they get is a surprise to me. <laughs> Man, I used to really want to believe in Tottenham. I wanted to believe that in the good in Tottenham. But over time, Tottenham has eroded my beliefs in Tottenham. I'm an equal EPL fan. <laughs> I, I, every team in the EPL, you know, can just they, they get a little chance, I think. Some te and then, you know, some teams just go out right away. It's been fun watching Leeds, all these Americans, but it's been funny. Mrs. Spitfire has not had been fun. She doesn't care that they're U.S. men's national teamers. She has not had fun watching Leeds. She's she's been thinking that they've been dirty. They've been mean. They've been playing very mean and angry. Well, they have. They're trying not to get relegated. The games have been a bit more rougher. But then today, this is the opposite. She went for the other. She was going for Leeds because the other team was being meaner, <laughs> and it was Chelsea. Chillwell was not being so chill. More, you got him. There it is. One minute left to stoppage. Ten seconds, I'm sorry. Fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven. Get your, get your papusas. Get your papusas here. You got your papusa. Looks okay. Chelsea ought to get rid of Graham Potter. The board seems to approve of him. Approve or disprove of Graham Potter. I'm out. See you on the next one, says Dan Garager. Yeah, I'm going to be shutting down the stream here after this game. I don't think I'll be watching the fire game on stream. Maybe I will. But at the moment, I don't think I will be. But thank you for everybody for joining us here on Spin Fire to watch this game. And hang out and talk a little banter and have a little fun. Oh my goodness! Portland trying to do their own arsenal. Not gonna happen. How is the whistle not blown? Blow this fucking whistle. I don't even freaking care. Like, this whistle should be blown. This is bullshit. There's two minutes and 30 seconds of extra time. Finally, he blows it. Game over.
Three, two, LAFC defeats Portland Timbers. I put Portland Thorns in my description. Yeah, but whatever. Go. Boom. What did that just delete? Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, give it to me. Damn it! Woo. Thank you, James. This Arch Duke. It was really fun. It was fun hanging out. Thank you. Ready for St. Louis City? Ciao! I'm definitely gonna hang out, put on more games for right now. I'm not in a hurry to leave, boys and girls, but uh Let me let me see what I could do, how easy it is to switch over to a new game here. Columbus DC. New York, Nashville. And if you're going to the games, everybody enjoy. MLS 360 does not start till 625. So we got Columbus versus DC. I might put that on. Red Bulls versus Nashville. I might put that on. New England versus Houston. Miami versus Philadelphia. Orlando versus Cincinnati. Atlanta versus Toronto. Who do I want to watch here? Man, I got all these options. Chat, let me know if there's a specific game you'd rather me tune into. Everybody's sliding out right now, but I did tell them I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we'll just end the stream here and maybe start a new one or nah, I'm just going to I'm just going to change the title. All games. All games. There it is. Angus currently has on New York Red Bulls Nashville. I'm going to slide that one on. That one caught my eye too. The other one that caught my eye. I like Columbus. I like New England. I like Philadelphia. I like Cincinnati. And I like the Atlanta Toronto game. The Atlanta Toronto was the other one I was thinking about.
Blew that up. Thank you, saying I'm still here. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I'm just kicking it. I mean, watch us MLS. I'm going to have to go get a bite to eat here soon. Uh, can you handle this? Uh, can you handle this? It's like the white wing dove by the song and that she's singing. Ooh. Nashville, New York has this old school, uh, has an old school off the air signal. Let's take a look. Is it an empty stadium that I'm looking at? What's going on here? Dude, what is going on here? I'm seeing stuff I don't know if I'm supposed to be seeing. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to be seeing this. This is interesting. I might be. I'm, I'm, I'm at Soldier Field, guys. I'm at I'm at Soldier Field live right now. How I do not know. How am I there? Nuts. What did I hack? What did I hack? Interesting. I have the New York Red Bulls national game on nothing. There's nothing going on. There's nobody there. And in fact, it's Soldier Field I'm looking at because that's Chicago Fire. Guys, I have a live feed of Soldier Field right now. And I'm so confused. <clears throat> All right, you guys got to see what I'm seeing. All right, give me a second here. This this is <laughs> It's live. Look up there. There's people moving. This is Soldier Field. That's that's Chicago Fire. What is going on? Dude, if I could have this always, I'd love it. Okay, yeah, see, it's correcting. Okay. Interesting. An error just occurred on my stream. Refreshing. Where'd, where did the game go? All right, there we go. I think whatever is happening there, I fixed it. But man, that was kind of cool. I had the live feed from the Chicago Fire Stadium. It's kind of cool. I see it. See the stadium in the shot. We have like a long shot of the stadium right now. Angus was having that too. That was so cool. That was so interesting. 
check the Chicago fire stream. It might be the NYC. I just actually clicked it. It wouldn't let me. Uh, it, it wouldn't let you click in yet. But you could click into this one. Anybody for chess? Play a little, uh, Pac Man. Run away, Pac Man. Run, 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 run. No, get him. Get him, Pac Man. Get him off. Yeah! Show him the thing or two. Run away, Pac-Man. Run away, run away. Go, 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 go. Go, Pac-Man. Go, go, go. Get him. Yes. Get him. Yes. All right, let's go meta. Columbus vs. DC feels like the most MLSE game of the weekend. If yes, 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 it does. That's a very MLSE game. A lot of water, I'm gonna have to fill that up. Do I have a key already? I don't think so. Where did that guy go? Hmm. Grab some upgrades. Like that. You take that. Right, 
like that. No bike here? Yes, there it is. Go, oh, bud. Ooh. Are you guys liking all the personalities on MLS 360, which I'm watching right now, it seems? They got the whip around show going. Kaylin, Kyle, and the crew doing their best to explain MLS. Bless Rubes. Got him. You gotta go. Go. Oh, almost just dropped, died. Shot you. Well, there's got to be something here. Missed. 
Let's move into position. MLS360 still has four people. We're on your six, buddy. We gotta run in. Looking all around. MLS Station still has four people. Tonight, the woman is wearing a long bell bottoms, opposite of the very short dress which was worn a week ago, which left very little to your imagination. And so, consider hot, sexy one week, and uh, conservative, sexy the next. I have not run into a vehicle. Yeah, there's one. Shooting me. Damn it, that gun is so good. Good gun. We're definitely gonna have to. Oh, that's that gun. Oh, I, I, we've been offered that gun before. I gotta put my water bottle. I'll be right back. One second, guys. I gotta make a call to the way.
back. Woo! I mean, she's got some... There's some midriff showing here. She's, she's got to look good, look sexy, attract a little attention, but also... Pretty, pretty professional. Which is fair enough. Oh yeah, that sounds so much better. gun is so awesome She's dying in this. She's not like in her. She's having to do all these constant adjustments. Kind of funny. She matches Sasha. <laughs> Got some fun style on display here. They're all wearing Adidas or Converse. I, I'm gonna, just gonna hang out now. I'm all clear. I got dinner on the way. I'm clear. I'm, I gotta take the puppy outside for a little walk. But other than that, we are sitting pretty. In fact, let's pull up a little YouTube video. Cause I'm gonna take a quick little break. But before I do... No. Live on the fly edits here. What I'm doing right now. Yeah, I know I got, I know I'm dropping in. Live on the fly edits. Here it is. Let's do this.
go. Let's save that. Upload that. Double check it. Wow, sick. All right, we're in match. And we have no guns. Grab some gold. I got that game on. All right, looks like Red Bull is coming up. There we go. Okay, making some adjustments. is this falcon all right at least i got a pistol got something here now at least we could defend ourselves Oh, I like this. Finally, more? More weapon? Not much, but... right through shoot the gap what do you know thanks people been here get out of here Music tripped me out there. Okay. Like a blue weapon. Taking a look around. Take your poo. There we go. No, I didn't get off.
Boom. The TIFO's going up. Be right back. Might put out a podcast in the background. What do you guys think? What was I listening to the other day? It was awesome. It was some Old West stuff. Wild West Extravaganza. You ever see Baby Driver? What movie? find a podcast oh there's a guy in there oh. cheap if you gotta flaunt it but that dress last week, I think, was an attempt to go viral with no care if she was guessing getting roasted or not. And she had a cape that came down in a bubble, dog. I gotta take a look. Kaylin, Kyle, MLS pink thing it was awesome I loved it she's a beautiful woman she knows it glad she shares it with the world right <laughs> This 
Is the game going? Game is going. Red Bull, New York, and Nashville has kicked off. You know, I kind of want to have MLS 360 going on the side. Uh, I'm gonna see what that's all about. Even though I can't hear them. But don't they Let's turn that on and see if they will. They'll switch to the goals. When I need them. Yeah, I need. Nope. You got it, flaunt it. She had a cape and it, and it came come down and, and it came down in a bubble dog. I'm looking at it. It was it was awesome. I like it. I appreciate you. Truly, you know. Harrison Heath, former English football player. You need a new pole. Close this poll. New poll. And we are less than an hour from Chicago Fire kicking off. Well, I mean, it might be actually be a while till kickoff. Still Chicago Fire kickoff anyway, but. At least we got MLS, we got the whip around show. I like it. Fuck yeah, it's working as intended. That's what I want. Thank you. I don't need it. Th thank you. It should be. It should be games and then the people on the side, you know, to kind of bring us along and they don't need four of them. I have too many people. my jam.
started stroking out. <laughs> Just enjoy this Red Bull New York Nashville game. I think they heard the critiques. They were quite, they heard the critiques like, hey, I thought MLS 360 was supposed to be like red zone and not like bad and annoying to watch. Like, like th that's a show you do after the games are done. You have the four people come on, talk about the show, talk about the games. Like, I think that they they did not do this right. They they're gonna have to restructure. If anybody wants to play a little Fortnite, I need a buddy. In fact, I might. Icy slide. Finally unlocked it. Is there a, a different something else I should play with? I've been playing with my Spitting Fire Cow. We got Indiana Jones. We got some other ones here. I love Moon Knight. Hard to see. We'll fill squads. Boom, so go here. Anything need to be owned? Why not? Oh, that's cool. Hold on, guys. Wife's calling. I gotta change my wife's last name <laughs> in, in my phone.
she's no longer Mrs. Spitting Fire of different last name. She now has mine. Let's go! All right, all right. Yo, yo, let's get the dub. Hmm. Might not be transmitting music or okay, push to talk, yeah. Settings. Audio. Let's go. Push kid, psycho, wizard, let's go. got company we are not alone Right. Things getting normal. Ooh, I want this. Here we go. Now we got finally got one of those guns. Oh wait, I I need that though, right? No, I'm good. So that. Dip somewhere else. Columbus over DCU right now. One nothing. Miami and Philadelphia on the board. Zero zero. Sixteen forty nine. Fifty. Fifty one. Fifty two.
Sophia. Sophia, have a seat. See ya. See ya. Getting separated. Where's Wizard? Re oh. We're on our way, Wizard. Grabbed it. <clears throat> Blow us up one nothing. So wait, when does actually Chicago Fire actually kick off? That's what I'm saying. All these times have been butt fucked wrong. They've been wrong. What is this? Oh. Making our moves. Going to the high ground. Tuned into the Esta St. Louis City match. I thought that that didn't start till 7.30. Right now I have uh, all matches on.
Free gold is free gold. Fuck, free gold. Yeah, we definitely should get some of those uh, guys. Free gold. I don't mind if I do. Load up. Push to the Right back, I gotta check something.
There we go. That's sick. Ah. Hanging out, enjoying the stream. Just watching the game. 26 minutes till St. Louis City kicks off with Charlotte. Miami scores. Is your child a failure? 
have they wasted years of their life acquiring an art degree? Do you make it rain on a regular basis? Only to spend it on your child's expensive taste in bullshit coffee? Is your child just an asshole? These are questions we ask every day. Here at Dupa Genetics, we have the solution. Dupa means ass in Polish. Prodigy Child, the fully customizable child of your dreams. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams. Sequencing technology. And finally, our secret sauce. And then your Don't leave your child's success to chance. They can be a prodigy child in anything, such as scientist, bodybuilder, wizard, and cat. You know what enforcement. Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. Working? Ugh, I am so bored. I should probably make progress on my EP and make some beats on the computer. And not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and weeping silently. <gasps> That's great! I've completely forgotten how to exist. <laughs> yes, I feel like this is something I shouldn't forget. Thank God you exist. I could never afford a real doctor. Would you like a regular tutorial or a live action doctor? tutorial? Definitely dog tutorial. Hello, uh, I'm your Dr. Super. I will be your guide. Right click on Obvious to Interact. Left click to Underwrite Interaction. That's a number color to Underwrite. Don't touch it with Sensory Click with Spota. And a helpful advice from Lester. Then I reflect the attack. Touch the top of the screen to access. Slide up. Thank you. doesn't seem to be working, just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals, and family bags. Unless you're a 40 year old man, whose jokes only consist of puns. I should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. get John in the mood. This could get John in the mood. I'm... I'm not good. Has somewhere to play it. Stop trying to cheat the puzzle. I can't leave yet. I have besides. I hate people. What is this? I need some sort of adapter first. could probably use it on something else. This could be useful. I'll put it into my inventory. 
If only people could adapt like this adapter, robot-human marriage wouldn't be such a big issue. Oh jeez, I've forgotten how to use my pockets again. It worked. Oh, mate, what do you unplug me for? You know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to cheat the puzzle. I don't have any zero to use it with. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals and fanny bags. Unless jokes only consists of puns. I prefer to leave my super secret personal diary full of personal secrets out in the security of open spaces. wasn't uh, as helpful as I remembered. <laughs> I try not to think too hard how letters seem to magically appear when I press this button, or about why I ex Ugh. I'd rather not. <laughs> I can't leave yet. I haven't done any work on my EP. Besides, I hate people. Yeah, well, what am I supposed to do? That is not a portable. Uh, hmm. You just like the fellas whose jokes on. I'm. I'm. Nothing. Stop trying to cheat the puzzle. Be right back, guys. And move. Alright. Please help. Ugh. Gah. I'll do the dishes later. I'm out of here, James. You have a nice evening. Later, Angus. Yeah, I'm gonna shut down the stream to watch the fire game, or maybe I'll leave it on. Maybe I will leave it on. Bella Ryan! 
pulls it off. Do me move. Zelda Ryan gets the goal. I'm jumping back and forth from Apple TV to you. What is this old school adventure game? This is called Paradigm. And what it is? Hmm. I don't feel like playing solitaire right now. I don't know. I've never seen Record is missing from its slip. Really? Damn it, you hustling dog. How can I stay mad at you? You're so cute and fluffy. The record is missing from its slip. Damn it, you hustling dog. How can I stay mad at you? You're so really? The record is. Damn it, you hustling dog. This could get John in the mood. I right, got two. Trying to cheat. Hmm. This could get John in the mood. If only he had somewhere to play it. Yes. If only we had somewhere to play it. I'm. I'm. But it's now giving power to John 3000. Feeling he moves. Bus? Yes, but how do I figure this out? Let's get a let's get a hint. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Brosofino, real talk. Mind using your vague intuition to help us out? Let me desert you with my slightly better than ever wisdom. I've had enough real talk. Can I ask you something else? When did you realize you were conscious? Don't really remember. Or just remember I had uh, some sort of guide for you. Especially when you were young, all you wanted to do is drink bleach. Stupid baby. Well, no cleaner as well all the nutrition and vitamins are. Hey, Brosofino, real talk. Mind using your vague intuition to help us out? Let me desert you with my slightly better than ever wisdom. Can you just give me the full walkthrough? No. Please? No. Come on, man. What's up now? You're looking awfully spherical today. <laughs> I like it. You know I hate cover. All right. I was saving this leverage for later, but I'll rub some lotion into you next time there is time. No, you're talking. You will get the full workflow at www.paradigmadventure.com slash workflow. Don't abuse this bar of the soul before you. I've had enough real talk. Can I ask you something else?
eating my taco. No napkin? I need a napkin. There we go. Christopher McPake, what's up, Christopher? What up, Miami? One nothing, couple nervy moments. Goalkeeper cannot play out of the back for the life of him. What is up, Christopher? See you tumor with slightly better than average intuition about everything. Goodbye. Here we go. Huh? Um. Oh yeah. Goodbye. What did I miss? Okay, so there's three things there. I oh, know, you tell me. nightmare that I was in a terribly written adventure game, but the designer was ridiculously good looking. Weird. <sighs> DJ Jesus, please let my EP be the fattest of them all. You keep up with the WWE? You keep up with WWE? The game is quite fun. Right now I have MLS 360 on. This game is called Paradigm. I can't leave yet. I haven't done any work on my EP. Yeah, I don't know what Besides, I'm supposed to do. I hate people. Mm-hmm. I am already using it. What is it? 300 GSM paper? Set and finish? Real nice. I think it looks better up there. Huh? Well, what's next? Ugh. I can't pick up doors. could get John in the mood. T-Rex relationship songs. I don't think that needs the smooth tunes of Sean's sensual steam. Am I missing something? <sighs> no thanks. Just like the thing, unless you're a 40 year old man whose jokes only. I sh what the hell am I supposed to do? How you been keeping anyway? I haven't been here in ages. You're doing well. Newly married, doing happy, uh, being, uh, doing well with Miss Spitting Fire. Are you staying for late kickoffs? I'm, uh, I'm gonna put the fire game on now. Fire game. Let's roll over to the fire game. I had MLS 360 on. Dude, this is awesome. I like this. What the hell is the fire? <laughs> there it is. Watch from start. 
There we go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, boys. I don't have a map yet. So far, walking aimlessly for... If only has... Yeah, I don't know where you're supposed to play it. I don't think that needs the smooth tunes. Something needs the smooth tunes. Let's see. How do I give that to John? Give this to John. Look at talk to. Talk to. Why isn't the good mate? With some of the filth I've seen in your internet history, I'm not surprised. It makes me contemplate if I want to be a part of this world. Then I'll think about all the shillers that would be gutted, and then I'll change my mind. Alright, now I figured it out. Wouldn't it be unfortunate if I just tripped and unplugged you again? Don't worry, mate. I'm not judging you. It's a little bit messed up, but, uh... It's perfectly normal for sick blokes such as yourself, anyway. Real talk, why isn't it working? Mate, the operating system is buggered. Some uh, bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need to warp it and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. Can't they just turn it on and off again? When did you learn advanced IT support? I'm impressed. Top bloke, congratulations. True blue, amazing. Top wazza. All right, I get it. Where can I find the recovery floppy disk? All right. I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird. It only tells me where to find sexy singles in my area and one little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a six pack. Just tell me where to get it. All right, mate, I'll tell ya. But first I need your help. I've got at least 10 chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent night. And I need you to get me in the zone. How am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version 2.1, you can't even look in my eyes, Jorn. We've already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximize my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners. Fire by anyone apart from that right back? And I tell you what, mate. I don't want any news from sweaty savage men no, tonight. Unless nobody. they look like sexy sweaty ladies. Figure something out. Gross. Ugh. Such an irritating minor inconvenience. I just want to finish my new EP. By the way, if you don't fix the computer soon, the power point will melt down and everyone will be dead. Or become seriously maimed, living their life in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. Just Arnaud Suquette. How you doing though, Chris? You should do a fire career mode as a player manager. I can't believe we got a lot of cheap talents. I actually did that the other day. We ended up scooping. Some good players. Really made a difference, I thought. And we only spent half of our money. Let's John. He's an artificial, but he kept flirting with the contest. Alright, now that I've talked to him. My, you know your tunes paradigm. Gonna slice so many circuits tonight. Anyway, 
You can find the floppy disk from a fellow named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside for some directory dues if you can't remember. Directions? That's what I said. Well, they have to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea, dude. Yeah, nah. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I prepared this pipe and mash earth for your benefit earlier. Wow, you've really improved on your paper mache craft skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Anyway, you see, Cobza, all the world's radioactive waste is stored under the crush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, Krush is world number one in the Brabant economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. Oh! Sunday medieval roleplay is no joke. Wow, worse. That's the basic <laughs> gist of the CISO if you don't get that floppy. Except for boys, you can fall out, mutations, people died in agony, pine, suffering, and not spread long screaming. I oh, saw so my humans have like uh, two years to extension if this goes down. Oh, right. I should probably stop that. Piper Mache seems to always reject you, Paragon. You should start selling these online. They're really great. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. One day, but yeah, go see Doug outside with some directory dues to Space Cadet's place. Warning, imminent complete meltdown is imminent. <laughs> you requested me, sir. Yes, I want. I want you to bring me paradigm. After all this time, you want to bring it back? Yes, we need. We need. <coughs> Have you all returned? <coughs> I'm just going to. Um... <coughs> I'm just going to let my face out. <coughs> Sometimes I hate you, father. Your insatiable urge for candy turned me into this monstrosity. But don't worry. Your legacy will live on. Hey, Prosofinos. What's up, Brolicious? How do you stay alive? Photosynthesis, bro. Do you mind dropping some fat bitsies? Okay. <laughs> Do you know much about the space cadet? Who? Hmm? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. God of Wakeney, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him really, except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. Lots of blowjobs. Ah, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. 
I need to know where I can find him. Well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the dits. How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke. But if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. How's the hustle going? The rent's due soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. Come on, man, give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. All of them crazy. Except for you, of course. What do I need to give you again? Hit us up with some sort of map and I'll hook you up with the dates, the space cadets. Laters. Peace, bro. Hello, mailbox. Hello, <laughs> reminder of online shopping regret. That's my mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. And then where will I be able to store my online shopping regret? Hey, look. I have new mail. I... Uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. Hey, there's something else in the second mailbox. Oh, a third mailbox? I've had enough of your games, Babushka mailbox. Hey, there's a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, the postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up menu to use the map. Weird. I have this uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Krush Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Um, <coughs> we will save. Resume game. Both the bars are making me sad. Why does that robot sound like Lexbot from Lego games? Hi, cheers from Red Bull Arena. All right. Uh oh, what the hell's going on? Uh, okay. There we go. We're all clear. Something going on here. There we go. All right, had to fix something there. I'm already using it to keep the building from exploding. I think I'll just leave it be so I can die of natural causes or from fighting wizards. Here's from Red Bull's arena. 
All right. Hello? I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? Wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. What a wonderful Komodos man. I need to divert his attention somehow. Sorry, Red family. Your conveniently timed jokes will have to wait. Hopefully this gets his attention. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm! Guaranteed! You truly are a monster. Oh. Would you happen to have the recovery disk for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Then I have no idea what you're talking about. If I get this space dust, will you give it to me? <laughs> I'd also suck. The recovery disk will do fine. I'm flattered regardless. Can you at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? Well, that's a classic. Still relevant after 50 years. No, it is not. Uh, what about this one? Oh, Jesus. That is creepy. I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Yes, give it to me. Not until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. What is uh, space dust? It's uh, space exploration in uh, powder form. <laughs> Do you ever get to see any aliens? Yeah, but they are total dicks that don't pay taxes. Except for Florgan. He's alright. Why do you take space dust? To escape the monotonous routine of everyday life. The pain I feel from past unrequited love. The harsh reality of human emotion and life. Wow. That's quite profound. Maybe I've misjudged you. Thank you, Talking Peach. You're not so bad either. For a delicious fruit, make sure to tell Banana he still owes me 20 bucks. Uh, you can cook it yourself. It's a meticulous process of gathering rock samples from the moon. Be wary of the man on the moon, though. For then I forget the rest. Lowest prices. Guaranteed. Mainly because he murders all the competition. Can you show me where the drug dealer is at least? Yeah, alright. Do you have a map on you? Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here, the little house on the mountain. Something's wrong here. Where is this coming from? Where is it coming from? <clears throat> Long live the lizard people. Listen here, P. Diddy Diggum. Paradigmy guy. Ever wonder why there's only like five or six of us living here? Vague memories of childhood? Unexplained scars? Large hemorrhoids that are impossible to get rid of? Obvious listening devices? Now, I won't know for sure till my next drug-induced coma, but I'm pretty sure that... I am a little confused. Okay. There. There. 
but why? What's up, Axe? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck. Come on. What's this? Oh. All right, I think that fixed it. Whatever was going on. We're in an alien oh. zoo. Just watching the fire. Mating program. Valid. However, my theory was that we were teenage. Me Visuals fixes. Bam, bam, bam. So I can watch this. Let's uh change the subject. Kawabungu. What's the hottest conspiracies this week, Space Cadet? Planet Earth's president apparently wanted to grow up to be a talking car. Slow week, huh? Not at all. He just got surgery to replace his arms with wheels. He died. Oh, right. Apparently, they are now recycling his body into real car tires. It's almost poetic. What up, Axe? Chilling, watching the fire on the side, playing this ridiculous game. I might need to leave now. The stench is too great. See you later. <coughs> I hope he doesn't mind if I take it. <laughs> like stealing candy from a comatose man who happens to run a candy shop. Hey, I used to own this. I actually had the high score, causing me to be both a terrible and broke electronic musician. Hello, arcade. This is cutting edge technology. High tech keypad security drone. The game looks trail. so familiar. What is it? This game free? To go back to art school. This game's called Paradigm. I gotta figure out where to go. Dude, what a tune! Oversized mansion, pillars, fountains, and large surrounding walls, all dead giveaways for a drug dealer's house. However, the sign gives me second thoughts. I'd love to use a great no consider I wish my diet did not consist entirely of coffee and cereal. Why? Why isn't fast travel implemented here? Oh, come on, stairs? 
No escalator? This isn't Rocky. I do not have the calves for this. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Army threaded spoon. Yo, yes, the most renews. Hmm. I wonder if this works. Hello, Intercom. I want to speak to your master. I guess I have to press the button. I thought this was the future. Hello. I have some cookies here to sell. I'm raising money to bring about the second apocalypse. And there are only two crush marks. I would like to purchase some space dust. Go away. Space dust was never sold here. I mean, what space dust? I mean, get off my premises, you filthy pig. My guard will kick you out if you try anything. Your guard is clearly just a cardboard cutout with a speech bubble drawn on it. Bollocks! You won't be saying that after he gives you a super insane paper cut. It's gonna hurt real bad, and when you finally think it's healed, it opens up again. Shit's super annoying. I hated the Police Academy movies. No one hates the Police Academy movies. Except for maybe after number seven. Hmm, maybe you are right. I'm a part of a fat gangster hip-hop group. Prove it. Yeah, come on, yeah. I'm a rap guy and I rap and I rap, rap and rap, rapping guy. And, and I, uh, uh, uh. That was terrible. I don't believe you. If I were a policeman, could I do this? Wow, Federico Navarro's injured, Sorry. guys. Proof He's gone. Not a policeman. Well, if the goal was to look like a dickhead, you did it. Aced it, even. I am not a cop. I can do that, too. I am not the droid you are looking for. Droid actually lives down in Cross oh, oh. Isn't this fun? Bishop Bilka. Look at me. Do you think I could even run after a criminal? Fat policemen normally do the paperwork. Oh, I just meant I was unfit. Wait, do you think I'm fit? Oh. All right already. Jesus, this is going nowhere. I'll tell you what. If you bring me the severed head of a policeman, I'll let you buy from me. Whoa, isn't that pretty brutal? Psst, not if you're a gangster thug like me. Now get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ, I can't murder anyone. Who does he think he is? I can't even tell if a fly passive aggressively. Maybe I can order a canned head of Ibeski. Ugh, I don't have time for that. I guess I could go look around. I'm finally starting to remember where everything is. Flushing all that milk out of my system is letting me think clearly again. I could probably check my shop, uh, the junkyard and or butt observatory. <laughs> Fingers crossed there are some local decapitations today. Broke my door and window. 
Igorsky, why do I even have you in here? You've been drinking again, haven't you? Ruff. God damn it, you're so hideously cute. I could never stay mad at you. Ruff. Looks like whoever broke in left a note at least. Courteous, courteous dick. What a nice asshole. Mm -hmm. He left me a note. <laughs> I'd better leave it. I don't want them knowing I spare time. Let's check out what's on the radio. Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome! This is Advertisement Radio, where we play advertisements all day, every day. Well, of having my soul cursed. And imbued into a radio station. Welcome to Pomana. To curse me. Better turn it All I did was I park my car in there. Paint the Casper special. Action. There it is. Sky one right over the 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 wall. Right. Sky one right over the uh, goal. Casper special right there. You're gonna make it through this game before he's thinking about leaving. Those kits are terrible. They were so excited about these uh, confetti kits. They look, they look like they're for girls. The confetti jersey is. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say that confetti jersey is what what it really is. If I'll be on YouTube. Funny. Not the best that Nikorsky will just eat everything. Igorsky, lunchtime. He must not be hungry. Oh wait, this vodka is only 40%. I need to make it stronger somehow. Before doing this, I do not recommend drinking paint thinner. Unless of course you have a stomach of horrifying mutant dog. You have been warned. Igorski, lunch time. <laughs> oh Jesus! I hope I didn't give him too much. Igorski, are you okay? Yes. <laughs> Good dog. Ah, uh, yeah. Everyone uses that line, it's not rocket science. I've always wondered how it must feel for actual rocket scientists, you know? How many have broken down emotionally from hearing that joke so many times at dinner parties?
They could have been cool, just something off about them. They look like horrible candy. Like candies for kids. Makes me sweaty just listening to it. Can can you please leave me alone? Yeah, right. Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. Everyone will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. No biggie. Oh, saying, oh my god, what? shoot the ball. One thing I can't stand about the fire over the years, I feel like they want to walk the ball into the goal. Oh, jeez. What the fuck just happened? This is just so bad. What? I can do this. Oh, God, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, just a little bit of hopper visual simulation I implanted into your brain via sound waves. Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing since I would die as well. Not too keen on dying. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, boy. Is there something inherently wrong launching something that the con has psychologically personified into ultimate destruction? Then ripping the head off his wife to trick a drug dealer into thinking I murdered a police officer? Most people would say yes. They probably would be right. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh damn, he literally imagined the blowing up the top. Whoops. Hey, what the hell is that? No, 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 no. Incredibly rare Eastern European paper airplane bird out in the wild. This is truly a magical moment to behold. It looks like it uh, has some sort of message for me. If I hold it too long, its mother won't take it back into the nest. I bet you not. Sorry, paper airplane bird, I had to open you up. Be a rare danger. Someone is after you. We are organizing your rescue. Hold tight. Catch memos. Yes, can you give me some critiques on my vague warning message skills at fightclubmovies at AOL.com? I'm an unpaid intern on the Pax Rebels. Trying to go full time rebel. I appreciate it. Finally, my dreams are coming true. I get to sever a head with a serrated spoon. It took me eight hours to cut through with the Krush army spoon. I was estimating at least ten. Take that, Swiss army knife. Oh yes, I'm gonna have the sexiest police costume. I can't j I'm not that- My very own decapitated police head. Time to bring it to the drug dealer.
uh, hello. Uh, I've got the the head now. Can I uh, can I come in now? Him. Stand back a bit, and I'll open the gates. Are you gonna try and score? Well, come. Bitch. Toronto looking bad right now. Reported See from that? Brother BKL. <laughs> it's like the gate is talking. You've read Stephen King before, right? Here. 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 Good one. Nights, nights, nights. Nights, nights, nights. Sir? Sir, I've been waiting here all day. Can you please see to us? It doesn't seem like you're doing anything. Hang on, I'm doing really secretary stuff. Ting, ting, ah, All right, done. What do you need? I have a complaint. Complaint? Oh, wonderful. It's what I live for. Our son, our prodigy child that we bought on the 22nd of January 2016, is faulty. What do you mean, faulty? They aren't budget, no-name electronics that break, crushing your children's hopes and dreams on Christmas morning. They all say, why doesn't Santa love us, Mummy? Why did he give us broken presents? Should have just bought the official one, but no, you wanted to save a few bucks. He is faulty. All right, calm down, miss. What seems to be the problem? He... he... he wants to become an artist. Jesus Christ, Mom! I'm not an artist. I'm a two-dimensional... <laughs> oh, God, do you see? He's tearing our family apart. Faulty! All right, all right. We've seen this before. Can you please sign these papers? And if you don't mind, little Johnny... Stand on that little circle thing over there. Hey, man. I don't conform to your ideals. Go slay some dragons, you inconsiderate pig. What if I told you that over there, on the circle there, is a gluten-free mocha papito latte? Really? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, miss. This has been a fault with the oldest line of prodigy children. Again, I apologize. Just sign the waiver here and we'll get you the replacement. Hello, drug I'm here. Refer to their name if you can. It allows you to connect on a more friendly, personal level. What? Oh, I'm just trying out some techniques I read in an audiobook. Can I buy some space dust now? I think I've gone through enough. Well, if you have a thousand crucial I can give you the token for the vending machine over there. Oh my word. I don't have the cash for that. Also, token? Super fun, cool, drug enthusiast drug tokens. The official currency for the vending machine. No space dust for you. But... Tough biddies. I'm sure we can come to an understanding. What does that wink mean? I don't know. I saw it in a movie once. Thought it might work. Nope. Is there uh, anything else I can do? I can bake Fit a, a goal. cupcake. That oh, what a goal for mind. NYC. All right. No one ever buys Damn. from me anyway. So I'll play you for it. Yes? If you can beat my game high score, beat to the far corner. I'll give you a super fun cool coming drug a mile away. drug token. Uh, what game is that? Prepare your body. It's the What's most Pereira brutal, given the unforgiving mark? game ever developed. An underground classic, sought by collectors everywhere. Behold! Stolen one, two, three, four. Damn it. And he just placed that. Hold on. 
goddamn piece of shit ruining my finally crafted Oh, it did hit 13. I'm never buying or 43 stock again. Active it hit 43. Um, but is he offside or onside? This is hilarious. Giant Mega Bro. What is it about? Try it for yourself. Grab that controller over there. Oh, dude, gross. This controller is all sticky and only leads to one side. I can't play with this. That's what C said. <laughs> Isn't it she said? <laughs> yeah, and my online comedian degree is a scam. So sloppy defending. You thought you could get full-fledged degrees in three days and only at the price of full control of my As we're saying, insurance. he might be offside. You gotta Bargain. check he's offside. Next week is a scene field masterclass. Anyway, you're stuck with the guest controller. Deal with it. Oh man, I can't deal with this. I'll need another controller. Ugh, and not touching that. It's a right to guess controller. I'll need to replace it if I want a chance to play for the drugs. Are they gonna let it stand? What's gonna go on here? Take a closer look. Oh, so there's a handball there too? There's not only is there a handball, Oh, that's a handball. Oh, that's a handball. It counted? Disgusting. I can't believe it counted. I guess it could be handy. Man, guess only controllers are such bullshit. Hey, drug dealer, there's your self respect on the roof. What? Let's play this thing. Let's do this. Can't see the ball change directions, but what a whiff on the clearance that allowed that goal. The Zacks. Yeah, boy! Time to bust some thug heads with some positive reinforcement. Before they know it, they'll have a mortgage. Press the Z to jump. X punch. is this?
Dude, I bet you could start a one black man metal band, have a small local following. Sharks. Oh, yes. I boosted the hell out of those bugs. Yeah, you did pretty well. Only 34,120. Oh, somebody's hurt now, too? To what? Really? I don't have time for this. I have actual stuff to do. I don't believe you. Uh, Who's hurt now? Know. Still, still, no space dust. I'm out these. Her Herbers is checking in. Psst. I think I can help you be boosting thugs. Yeah? Legends say that there is a mythical code to beat any Mega Bro game. Like a Konami cult? For legal reasons, no. Well, Space. Forever. Yeah, sick. That's great help. Let me finish, Jesus. There are whisperings that it can be found lost in electromagnetic waves. Thanks, I think. Hydrotor's out. Fabian Herber's on. Let's just take a look at this lineup real quick because I didn't actually get a peek, get a peek at it. Richie, Suke, Taran, Chico's Navarro, Torres Navarro, Gutierrez, Shakiri, Mueller, Pushbook because literally the lineup I predicted. But Torres is out and Navarro's out. And Pineda's in and Herbers is in. Wow. I can't believe that's already uh already there. Corner kick. Uh, 
can I have a better hint? That's all I can say. Yes, but can I have a slightly superior hint? Hey man, I'm trying to help you out as much as I can. Hint? No. Please, miss, can you spare some hint? Jeez, fine. Radio waves. It's stuck in radio waves. Last time I make a cool setup. <laughs> Mega Bro did a special promotion where they hid their ultimate cheat code within their advertisements. Why are you helping me get free space dust? I just really hate the drug dealer, to be honest. It's just like, what the fuck? It's the transcript from the advertisement radio station. I was hoping to get some dope audio samples from it, but mostly it was more procrastination. The Zeladario Zany X Zone. All right, it's halftime. Halftime, and the score is one nothing. What was it? Z Z X Z. Are you legit not caring at all about this game? Take that, I boosted I... the hell of those thugs. Ah, uh, yes. It's... It's hard. Man, it's what the hell? hard. You totally cheated. Some Konami code bullshit. Come on, man. A deal is a deal. Oh, god damn it. Here, my last super drug enthusiast token. By the way, some big guy was looking for you. Super nice. Apparently wanted to dissect you for some reason or another. You're only telling me this now? To be honest, I'm just super stressed about how I'm gonna pay the bank back for all those high interest loans for all this gear. Two bad injuries already for the fire. Jairo Torres and for and uh, um, Federico Navarro out. I didn't see how bad the injuries were. So I do wonder that how bad the injuries were. Navarro, let's take a look. Trainers appear to be working on Navarro's hamstring. But let's see if there was an update on Navarro. No, all I got is Sandalow saying Hyro Torres out and uh, Navarro out. So. Torres, literally exactly the way every human assumed the first half would go. It's one nothing New York City. Uh, and the next half, it could be one more goal for two more goals for New York City, and maybe one goal for Chicago Fire. Maybe they the, the Fire are trying to put in their best effort of the season today because it's all downhill from here. All right. Can I give this to this? Free drugs. I'm living the dream. One space dust, please. Two marijuanas, please.
Enjoy your space dust. Finally. Time to get that floppy disk and, uh, and not, you know, die horrible death. Damn. Where is he? Oh, shit. Oh. No. You better not be dead. Why did you have to pass out now? Wait a second. No. You mean you were sitting on the box of these the whole time? Really? Yeah, it's good to see you still have motor functions, judging by the twitch of your leg. Now let's go save Kurush from inevitable destruction. At least for a little bit longer, so I can make some beaties. Better get the floppy before I leave. If I get back and it turns me out of ice, I will make Internet Explorer and wave a. No! What? Doug! Doug! What did they do to you? Paradigm. Come close. I have one last bit. No, Doug. Save your energy. We need to get you to a hospital. Baradine, I've always considered you my best friend. I owe you this one less. No! Doug, I will avenge you. Doug! Shit. Oh man, you asshole. You faked your own death to avoid paying rent? Maybe. That's the last time I have a heartfelt moment for you. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Wow, interesting. More specifically, what you're doing here? Uh, what does he look like? He's crying! Something wrong. Oh, nothing. Just remembered some fictional character I'd be more upset about dying than most people. What is a prodigy child? It's a genetically endowed child made to get the raw dick of a sea. I sat the rich and rocks, just a little time to give them a penalty to the better of it, to the four real children. That's uh, pretty rough. Yeah, well, anyway, this one is real. Mess up, 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 sneak in that for whatever reason. So, 
Are you talking physical or metaphysical door? Massive win for Miami, says Christopher McPake. Taylor goal was a screamer. You're a glorified look. You don't hear any teeth. Also, St. Louis surprising me so far. Can you just let me through? Not really. I'm probably like a man who is going to make more on this nothing water to make a victim. Nothing at all? What did I do? Okay. What if I ask you like this? Can you... Let me through. If I have a I will fall up in my head. Then fall up in this earth. And I want to be alive. What if I ask you like this? What? What if I, uh... Serviced you. I only get it. No better I'll be done. It's it's a tip up. I'm not a too bad. I'm the it on the nothing. I'd write you a love song? I be a turn up no that Don't you have any hopes and dreams you want to fulfill? To be a nut to do a teach on for never really my damn I Always want her to go back to my water roots and be caught by someone, maybe a celebrity or something. My better house will not only be bit murky. I'll take the answer to them. Why don't you? Let's go, Columbus! I'm not going to be honest. I don't know that I ever had the God of Dust. What if I told you? Time to put boosting thugs to good use. Ready. Boost. Boost. <laughs> Boosting thugs. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Fight. Just teleport him into the offices! Come on, dude. You know Mr. Yorpodoskvasaki doesn't work well under aggressive management. Did you know? Without Paradigm, we can't fix the others. And without fixing the others, Dupe Genetics goes into the red. When we go into the red... I cats into this. That is my life. Regardless, this machine is janky as hell. Bob from accounting is still inside out from the last test. He had a body pillow full.
as Chicago fan, it's the point to see St. Louis doing so well, so fast. Oh, yes. So goddamn pumped. Finally, time to make some fat beats, play some epic music. For oh, Davo. I was looking forward to a third apocalypse. Maybe some mutated mold could replace you. Or imagine it would have far more personality. Mold the adventure game. Now that dream is taken away. I'm going to ignore that you said that, and let's boot up this bad boy. Yeah, right, wait a miser. We're gonna be now, do 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 do. We're gonna be now, do 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 do. We're gonna be now, do 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 do. We're gonna be knocking at more door. All right. Check Discord. Happy for the Connor and uh, happy for the Connor and all related Connor. Thanks. I can do it. I don't really feel. Let's see, especially that that Columbus win. Hold on. Um. Turns off the game when I do that. The scarred oh, fetishes on. I never realized I had. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jesus Christ! I'm not very bitty, man. Man, that was really weird. I think it's over. Nope. Oh, jeez! Bloody hell. They were just bots. I knew it was too good to be true. I should have caught on when they asked me for my credit card number. Two. Oh God, where am I? Where am I? Welcome to the multiverse. Here, you are one with each of your multidimensional forms. Ugh. Ow. It hurts. Hey, it's not so bad the second time. Who are you? Is there a manager for this multiverse? Because if there is, I am going to have to speak to him. I, uh, I, I guess I'm technically the manager. Damn it, you messed up my spiel. I'm going to start again. Hi. I am the all-seeing king. My ultimate purpose is to tell you. Want me to hop on and talk fire? Is this game your zen? Dude, you can hop on. Dude, you dude, totally. I can watch this. Uh, let me uh, fin wrap this up or I'll save it. What? Really? Do I get it? Need much? Self esteem would be pretty great if you. Have any of that left? No! <laughs> what I did to you was what us multiverse keepers call, in the biz, rustling jimmies. <laughs> People sometimes breach the multiverse from messing around with teleportation. We just like to mess with people's heads. You aren't the chosen one. You do have a semi-important part, though. The actual chosen one is a way cooler, 25 to 35 year old black haired male with a gruff voice. Anyway, your time is up. Peace. Wait, can I ask you something else before I go? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Do dogs have internal monologues? The answer is... Yes? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love this job. That shit never gets old. Damn it. I was this close to knowing the answer to life's greatest question. Welcome to my dungeon. You are now my prisoner for eternity, forever tormented by the thing that once gave you refreshment, now only providing you with never-ending pain. Ugh, deja vu. Oh well then, almighty tormentor. 
Speaking of refreshing beverages, my throat is quite parched, as I presumably was split into a million pieces and transported through time and space. Can I trouble you for one? Silence! My refreshing days are over! Bow down to the eternal sound of the forever restarting refrigerator motor! May it be a reminder of your sins! <laughs> Salesman of the month's on the wall. Never have I heard such a horrifying sound. Yeah? Just wait till you're just about to fall asleep. And this bad boy kicks in! You're gonna be so irritated! I will be sure to heed that warning, water cooler of doom. I'm glad you're starting to show some respect. If you're lucky, I'll let you lick my nipple nozzles. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you really have to call them that? Well, if you can think of a better name for them, I'm all ears. Tips? Ugh, what the hell? A sick man, Paradigm. Sick! I got Taps. to get out of this office prison room thing. Right. <laughs> right. Boom. All right, let's go back into Discord. Let's move some things around. Is this game back on yet or what? I just don't care. <laughs> Come on. Come on, little one. There we go. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. My tacos. Yeah, boys and girls. Oh! NYC almost got another one. NYC almost got another one. You 
are listening to the fridge, baby. First of all, you better wrap your leftovers. While I wrap, the door was left open, the room is cold. Forget the toaster, I'm the illest in the kitchen. Knocked out the foreman grill, put the sink in a submission. You should listen, mister, got a real chill bargain. Those opposed wind up on a milk cart. Still starving, chasing pellets like some Pac-Man. Your girl is getting seconds, got her hands up in my snack bin. And I'm relaxing, the coolest of the coolers. I keep it fresh, any less you flush into the sewers. Make maneuvers, I'ma make sure your food's gonna last. Stop the fridge, baby, I'll survive a nuclear blast. If there was anything I wanted in life, it definitely is a wrapping fridge. You are listening to the fridge, baby. If there was anything I wanted in life, it definitely is a wrapping fridge. Ooh, a cup? Nice. And here I was hoping the entire universe would be contained in some cheap Swedish furniture. But a cup would do. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Alright. This will be now my go-to dancing move. <laughs> Brother. Uh oh. We yeah. got a witness. Discord just crashed on me for a hot second, but you Ooh. know. But uh wow man, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh I allow I knew we were gonna be terrible, but I allowed myself to to care for like a hot second. Right. And, like I had belief for like forty eight hours. And then it just played out exactly how you would assume. Although, I mean, could still score. Dude, uh, I mean, uh, they're they're still in it. But isn't this, as you said, it's kind of what we ex expected. It was a dull performance. Ezra's coaching for his job right now. In his first See, game. He's, he's set up to fail, bro. He's without he a doubt. Because, like, Hyde's, Heights should have been replaced, and they should give Hezra another two years. Like, he is the guy to cultivate, not Heights. You know what I mean? Like, right? It's, ugh, it's frustrating. But, you know, like you said, it's still the first half. But, God, that was a kick in the nuts of a first half. We had a Casper Shabilko special and uh, gave up a goal. The wrong Navarro left the pitch. It was. <laughs> It was a, a rough one, so to speak. How do you feel, bro? You seem to like not be super interested. Dude, it's it's so awesome, isn't it? It's <laughs> is are you jealous? <laughs> kind of, man. Like uh, you know, I probably wouldn't have cared, but then T Mobile came through and was like, boom, have Apple TV for free. And I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, it's brutal. Oh, did I just see you make an oops? Yeah, you did, but it's they, they won't <laughs> they won't ding me for it. Um, no, that's, that was that was a extremely quick oops. Yeah, they usually they, they don't get too mad for quick oopsie unless uh, it's your junk. Yeah, oh that that type of oopsie is really hard to slip by. <laughs> Man, dude, uh, oh. actually, now that you're here, I'm a little bit more interested to watch. <laughs> But like, I have it here, right on the side. I'm having fun playing that ridiculous game with the funny voice acting. <laughs> what was that game? I I was in love. Paradigm. Okay. Called Paradigm. I got it for free on um, I think Epic. Uh, All right. Epic gave it away for free uh when, way back when during the Crowley days, and I was like, I looked it up because it had such a weird thing. I was like, what? This is weird. It's like normally they give away crap games and, and then it, it, it's in that vein, but it's like a crap game. That's funny. Well, it's like it knows it, it's it's self-aware. So it's funny, right? It's very self-aware. It's, it's kind of like an Undertale type of thing. Like mm -hmm. we're going to do the tropey video game thing, 
but we're also going to make a joke about the fact that we're doing the trophy video game thing. It is a little like Undertale. Undertale is actually, I've never played it, but I've watched it, and yeah, yeah. Undertale is amazing. Um, it's one of those games where I'm like, I don't want to play it, but I do like, I, I, I watched it, I saw somebody play it, and I'm like, I think I'm good, but also, like, there might be a day where I'm like, maybe this is the day I'll be like playing Undertale, because it's like a, it's a different game. Like, you start off in a movie, and then it descends into a video game, of like 80s 90s proportions mini games and then it goes back into it's a 8-bit story and then it's over so that's what i know about undertale oh my god watch game grumps play it i, I know that's who i watch play it yeah oh my god that, that's the best all right so hold on pause shakiri. shakiri about to take yeah. a rip here he, he's gonna he miss now, what, what's what's your positives to the game so far uh, let's see. Positives of the game. Ezra, very, very much uh, engaged. Uh, that that's a positive. Uh, he he's coaching for his life. Um, the, yeah, it's better than than the coach, you know, smoking dope on the sidelines. I feel you. Right. Uh, then the um the Miami Dolphins coach. But hey, he's a good coach too. I'd I'd still want like him as a coach. Uh, that Miami Dolphins coach guy. I think he's a real realistic dude. Um, because of that, he's like, yeah, I, I'll win this game and take a toke. Right, exactly. <laughs> fuck, fuck you guys. <laughs> I mean, let, let the people be real. You let know what the I'm people saying? Be, like, what, yeah. What's what's different about that than like, you know, somebody cracking a beer at the end of the game and we all think, uh, or like, in oh, the game, cracking a beer in the game. It's well, a little. Yeah, okay, fair. Uh, well, so, so after the game, totally fair. Like you're the coach. That's when you do crack the beer. There's something about it. Like there's people on the sidelines in baseball games. They're popping their their lip their lip stuff in there. The uh, and putting a whole thing of lip in there, a chaw, going oh, out there and yeah. playing. If you ever put a thing of chaw in your fucking mouth and then ran out to into the field. You drop. <laughs> you get yeah, so I, dizzy I and sick. Out. I, I don't know. I I could never like you know. I I I've been off mostly, but slightly on as a smoker my whole life, mm -hmm. and uh, I could not do dip or none of that garbage, man. I, I don't know how people do that. It's all drugs. It's all it's all has an effect on them, whether or not they want to admit it or not, and whether or not it's tacitly acceptable or not. So that's like, why is one thing okay here, but not okay here? It doesn't make sense right. to me. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so much one hypocrisy. Day should, one day we should talk all the glorious stories of the 86 Mets. Oh, dude. What, what, of... Doc Ellis is one of my favorite stories. Oh, we we talked. I remember I told you about my Doc Ellis experience in high school. Yep. And Connor got a little freaked out. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. But that Doc Ellis story is one of my favorite little YouTube videos. It's just like, but uh, oh, it, dude, he talks about the Netflix. Quaaludes. He talks about all the other drugs that they were doing. And oh, like all those greenies. And, and I'm not shit. saying yeah. that that's OK or anything, but I'm just saying like. But the, 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 these people don't need to know and like they don't know about the pain injections, those freaking Toradol shots that are there's some shots that these people are getting that are hardcore uh, that like basically it's like your career's over if you're getting some of these shots sometimes like uh, oh, people yeah. like uh, pe the athletes have talked about that where they're just trying to make it to the end of the season or sometimes. But those types of sacrifices end up maybe costing their muscle or costing well, them something the significant. Like, what was that uh, movie with Al Pacino and Jamie Foxx? Um, uh, any given Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. The LT type character. He was like, I don't care if I'll never walk again. I'm going to make an extra $2 million. If I, if I go right back out there on this field today. So you're going to give me whatever injections you have to, to make that happen. Keep Kamara. You know, like dude. Okay. Positive. We got, we got some of your positives. I got to tell you my two positives. Let's hear game. I love that the we're, we're wearing the confetti kit at home. Mm -hmm. That's a massive positive. Big dub. And not that I'm the biggest Kai Kamara fan or believer in the world, but like Ezra was willing to take Shabilko Auto at half. So that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. That's a good sign that he is on thin ice. Well, and also dude. you have a striker of, I mean, dude, I'm watching this guy. Dude, he's light years above, above Shabelko. Look at this guy oh. pass. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yeah, you, no. you and I must literally be on the same. I'm at like 62, 17. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm at. I'm at yeah, 21, like, 22. How did that, that worked out perfectly? That's like, we're literally right on. Love it. Uh, but when I saw Shabelko, the man is fucking trying his ass off. Like, that man is trying. It's just not working. Dude, you know what? I got to say this. Like, th this is like a little asterisk to pay attention to. 
you know, because sometimes as fans, we're like so into this game. And by the end of the season, we'll forget every detail about this game and be like, oh, Shabilko had a shitty season. Well, let's 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 look at what happens to Shabilko's mental health. He's gotten talked shit about for months on end because of the long off season. He had a very poor season. And then the first golden opportunity he could have drained. Oh, who's this cat? El Salasi, new guy. Yeah. And then uh, who else is coming in? By the way, I hope Ezra. Oh, Mueller's hurt. Great. Mueller's oh, hurt. God damn it. Perhaps one, of, perhaps one of our most important players. By the way, I hope Ezra's <laughs> making this substitution correctly because he's already made two substitutions. He only has one substitution left. He's got three subs oh. that he could deploy, but only one active substituting left. Yeah, it looks like he's using all the rest of his subs. Yeah, he's using all three right now. And all Gucci three. just came off. But then, I mean, it's stale. You got to do something, right? Dude, Mueller's pissed. Yeah, he is. I mean, I said earlier in the Discord that Jairo Torres is going to play six games this season. He seemed a little like, oh my God, when he walked off the field. This so over. We lost four of our most important players besides Shakiri. Well, Federico mention... Navarro, gone. Yep. Jairo Torres, only... gone, because you're supposed to depend on him. Mueller, gone. Is, are you saying Guti now, too? James Stretcher and Walker. Well, no, he, they, he took Guti out. I don't okay. Think he was... Yeah, I don't think he had an injury or anything. Okay. Well, but somebody, yeah. uh, but somebody else. So Pineda, wasn't it Pineda? Oh got hurt? Jimenez came in for Guti. What the hell is that? Uh, whatever. Yeah, I, I think that the, the whole. I think Man. he used all five. I think, it, I think it's. But I mean, two of them weren't his choice, which I feel you. So Axa asking, when do you think the boos are going to start against the fire? I mean, if they don't start in this game, it's got to be it the next game. Time. Did you guys not hear that? As no, they were the booing. Whistle- Yo, as soon as the whistle blew, the boo birds came out, man. So, Axe, there you go. Didn't last 45 minutes into the season before the boo birds started against the Chicago Fire. It was rough, man. Like, I, I just, I, I, I kind of joke, which is a little insulting, but I call it my, my version of seasonal depression, where, like, I'm like, I think forever in the off season, like, oh, yeah, they'll be terrible. I know they're going to be terrible. It's going to be terrible. Then, like, a week before the season, I get really optimistic about the fire. Mueller's crying. <laughs> Mueller's crying. Oh, no, God, that's, an, that, that's not good. That's ACL, MCL territory if you're crying already. Just, it looked like he was tearing up. I mean, or, or maybe yeah, he was just it's, emotional. You'll see. I'm watching it on a, on a cell phone, so I, I, I don't see the details of the, of the man's face. There's something comforting about having Frank Lopez there. <laughs> I don't know, you know what. You know what I really want more than anything in existence? Can Frank Klopas just be Sparky? Can, can he just, like, for now and to the end of time, just be Sparky? And how? How? Do, how do we accomplish that? I don't know. Convince convince a grown man <laughs> to, to put on a dog costume. <laughs> <coughs> Brother BKL saying that, hey, what he's saying is true. I mean, ever since Kamara was playing... Uh, in Montreal, he's looking pretty okay. And now, right now here in Chicago, he's looking good too. It's it's tough, right? Like, I think we're starting to see, you know, you'll always have those late 30s players. But in the past, they were the Ronaldos and the Messis. Now you're seeing a guy like Kai Kamara, Sasha Kleishton, um, Like, I, you got to think, like... Marisa do okay, so I well, Kai Kamara love... could do a job, is what I'm saying. He could do a job in oh, MLS. Yeah, yeah and I, I don't know if you could oh, rely yeah. on him to start every game for the season, but he could do a job. No, you you don't want to rely on him like that. But right. yes, if you, if you didn't have to, he's the perfect weapon off the bench. Oh my God, there's no. It's kind of crazy that we have him. Like he's trade bait for an actual winning team. Oh my God, for sure. You, but... I, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, man. With these four injuries, the fire are out of the season. They should be <laughs> looking to trade, bring in new assets. Shakiri's going to be looking to leave in uh, summer now because of this game. Oh, he he he's already he cares. I can't. That's the. I gotta Shakiri tell you. Shakiri cares man, for sure. When we signed Shakiri, I was convinced this cat doesn't isn't going to care. This cat just wants to get fit for the World Cup. And you know what? He's going to like half ass it. He's not half-assed it. He's played exactly as Jirdan Shakiri plays mm-hmm. for any team he's ever played for, for us. He gives it literally his all, mm-hmm. and he gives us exactly what he, he does what it says on the tin. So if we had two other massive DPs 
and like a good team around him, he'd be an amazing piece to this puzzle. And it's just, it's being wasted for him to be like pushed as the star. Mm -hmm. He's never been the star, but the man's been on teams good enough to win two uh, Champions League. Southampton, he was expected to be the star. Or that was the club. Oh, see, that's the year that they got, that was crazy they got relegated that year. They were stacked. Or no, you know, it was in Southampton. It was uh, um, the where it's hard to play on a rainy day and Tuesday. Uh, Stoke. <laughs> Can yeah, you do it Stoke. On yeah, you're right. Stoke. Stoke. It was Stoke City. Man, they had a, such a precipitous fall. Stoke oh City, you're God, right. They were, they were literally loaded that year. There was no reason they should have got it relegated. He, he earned a trip from Stoke City to Liverpool. He went from you're Stoke right. to Liverpool, and then from Liverpool hit his peak, Lyon. And then to Chicago. Leon's not a bad place. Lacazette's living life over there. He only played 11 games in, in Leon. He's at 29 for fire. Wow. That's like, I'm shocked. I really thought we'd get like six games out of Sha- uh, Shakiri either out of not giving a shit or being injured. Cause that's mm-hmm. just like, that's our life. I feel like we sign a guy he's injured. Like, it, like what? Jairo Torres is probably going to be here three years and play 17 games. So, so you don't or think he's three. going to flee to Europe? Um, Who, come Shaqiri? the summer window. Oh, of course he is. No, he's gone. If, if, he, if they're if they're not if they're going nowhere, he has to go. He has well, to go. I actually I take that back. It's kind of like the Michael Bradley kind of thing. Like he's making eight million dollars. Is there anybody else who's going to give him eight million dollars? Jordan Shakiri. Yeah, thirty. I, I think he's thirty-two. Let me double double check this. He's 31. Dude, so he could he could still get a decent contract somewhere in Europe. Might not get 8 well, million, but he'll take 7. Is it 8 mil? Yeah, well, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I would take 5 mil take, instead to be a winner, right? Yeah, he'll take 5. He'll take 5 million to to go play somewhere in Italy or in uh or in uh Spain. I don't think he'll go to Spain. Nah, him him and Pulisic to AC Milan. His his place fits <laughs> a certain style of league and it's MLS. Uh, so maybe he stays here. Maybe. I mean, dude. maybe Seattle says, hey, you want to win? Dude, I mean, <laughs> actually, that you just painted the picture. I mean, interleague, somebody might just say, hey, why would we I spend all this money? We could just go pilfer from Chicago. That GM is a fucking idiot. Uh, we'll we'll give him some Gam Tam, and, uh, and he'll give us Shakiri for free. We never do anything be, like interleague. Like we get this guy, like Ki Kamara. We Kamara. That's it. Well, that, that's a that that's, was desperation. Yes, that was like you went oh, to the yeah. bargain bin and you were like, "Oh shit, I don't think I have this Nine Inch Nails CD, and it's only five bucks. Cool, you oh, know." Sh- like, and my buddy just bought my uh, like uh, your prime amazing two hundred dollar album that you've been keeping, you know, for a rainy day. So that's gone too. I'm talking about Duran. Oh, I know. Dur- Duran, I still contest that Duran never actually proved anything. He was just potential. So we didn't lose anything because he never produced. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But th- <sighs> at least both teams have cool kits, right? At least it's not an ugly game. I, I'm not the biggest fan of these, of these, uh, these kits. Really? For the I fire. love the confetti kit. It, it it gives me uh it gives me it, it makes me it, it it's candy it looks like candy it, it looks like um candy I don't want to I, I I or 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 some sort of, yeah like that laffy taffy with like shards of different colors in it and um I, I love them which I is good it's tasty it's sweet I am not the biggest fan of them I I don't I, I don't know. But that's fair. I, know, I mean, like, but that, but dude, like, here's the great, here's the thing. There's, there's so many fashion things that we all have our own feelings on. Like, there's something about it that you were like, I like that, and there's something about it where I'm like, eh, I don't know. I do like the orange blues of NYC. I like them. Uh, they're, they're interesting. I don't love them, but they're, they're, there's an interesting idea there. There's an interesting idea with the fire confetti kit. I there for sure is, and I'm yeah, not saying that. Aren't like nike giving us white white Mm t-shirts like uh but yeah it's a um have you clicked over to like i i haven't been able to bring myself to click over have you clicked over to st louis to see how that stadium looks how it's rocking 
No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, me I'll... neither. I might. I might just have to check it out on demand afterward. Uh, so John Duran has earned game time in every game. He's uh, and every every time he's been available. What at West Ham? At what at um Aston Villa? Holy shit! That was really close. That at was, Aston Villa. Uh, oh, it was Gaston it was Jimenez. Gaston Jimenez. Boy, I would have uh. Take another look at this. Is he, oh, he, yeah. Look at that. What a great... Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like, a little bit lighter than it looked at first, but good like idea. Good yeah. Hit. I like that idea, Gaston. Gaston's got a lot to prove, but if there's two injured midfielders ahead of him, he's going to have a lot easier time getting the field now. Yeah, he ain't going to have to prove nothing. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about Richie so far? Whoa, whoa, what? Uh, Garbage. Um, Replaceable. Um. So extremely. I think he's been too nervy, man. He's not bad. He's just nervy. It's a, it's replaceable. Um, yeah. It's and also I think the kids hurt. I think uh the the they're yeah, rookie. That's, that's the thing. Like we, our our injury report was all sorts of screwed up. So it's yeah, like, you were saying, and I was looking desperately trying to find the injury report from NYCFC that was you were talking they about. Were saying that Hyro was out. Gaston was out. Well, they're both uh, playing, or were yeah, know, at least one of them. Now. Well, it, uh, I mean. Yeah, there was something to it because yeah. Torres went out after how many minutes and didn't then, last long. Yeah, and then Jimenez can only come in for the half. Foul. You can't... Nice. Give it to Shakiri. Do something. Helles, he's uh he's coming in there with a little bit of uh explosiveness, which I expected and uh, want to see more of. El Salasi. You know what's funny, man, is this team doesn't like. I would replace, i.e., like ship out gaston and uh and casper right but i feel like this team doesn't need to have these guys jettisoned they need better guys like stacked on top yes that's that exactly what it is because when it happened the other day on the fifa oh look at this look at that it's a goal oh it's fabian it's fabian Beautiful. who's a he's a man dude <laughs> fabian mother fucking herbers unbelievable Asking the question, why the fuck am I not starting? There's no one better than me here. No, there's... Fabian Herbers is over everyone, apparently. Dude, there's no one better there than Fabian Herbers. I'm sorry. And they keep sitting his ass. But every time he comes in, all I see this guy do is produce. He Win is... whatever position. He is sneaky productive. He's kind of like a Chris Mullins or a mm -hmm. um, Brad Davis type of cat where you just kind of like, uh, we need an upgrade here. And then they oh, what a beautiful deflection. Beautiful. Let's go, Fabian. Oh, man. Unlucky for Magno. He's been playing really well. Oh, that guy's about to cry. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the kid. That's Magno. Oh, he was. He was emotional. That Yeah, he was about to lose it there. But they'll get that back in. You get that shit in check. Like you, you, you like have that well up. He's welling up and and then checks it. Wow, Boom. I can't believe that. Fire back in at one one. All right, we can win this game. This is this is the this is the type of game that we can win. That's that's literally crazy based on how we played in the first half and the fact that you know what's funny. I don't know. I I like Ezra, but it's almost like right now we have to play chaos like it's no one's in the right position like it's all thrown together and we're playing better based on chaos than we did with our idea and what ezra thought was our best team oh we we injured james sands yeah miggy out here killing people james sands what, is injured we what, what do they call that in, in hardcore music he, yeah miggy out here crowd killing <laughs> Let's see this. That's not Sands, though. That went down. No, that um, was the other cat. And then Sands. Janae. Oh, dude, that, that's a question right here. Is this guy, Miguel. Is Miguel Navarro going to... That's he... another one I would love an upgrade over. Mm -hmm. back. Yeah, he still hasn't, still hasn't shown it to me. Well, I don't know if you saw earlier, right before Mullins came up lame, uh, we had a break, and instead of letting the ball go past him to where Shakiri was trying to pass, he like intercepted the ball basically and just took our counterattack into nothing. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, get this out. 
Ping ponging. Nice. Oh, maybe. Shakiri is so cool on the ball. You, it's fun to watch MLS now where you got guys like that who can actually like hang on to the ball and it's not just ping you know, pinball everywhere. Dude, James, thanks for uh letting me swing through, man. I'm uh, enjoying watching the game with you. Dude, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like I was I was a little bored with the, with the game, but it's so much more fun watching with you guys. And then oh, and having somebody to banter with and just kind of like analyze it real time. Cuz I'm not always yeah, I, right. I don't I, I, I it's hard for me to think I'm always right. I, I like to have someone that's like, "No. <laughs> you usually are except for your hockey subs idea." Oh man, I love that. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that you know what? This game got interesting. All this optimism is swelling back up inside of me. I know. All of a sudden we can win the season. Uh we can we won't make the playoffs. I think this is still a losing uh, season. It does it does feel like a losing season because like this this kind of game feels like if there's a if we're playing a Seattle, if we're playing in a um Atlanta, they've dumped another goal or two a, already. A full strength NYC. They're not even full strength. You're they're not, but they're close. But they're close, they but they're missing like a star. They start. They signed some stud. They signed some studs. Well, they re-signed a stud. Yes, that's so what. That's I... kind of the thing. He already kind of knows the. That's why Sam's got to slot right in. He already knows the system and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I don't know. I didn't pay a lot of attention to Sands over at Rangers. People are like, oh, it didn't work out. Blah 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 blah. So, I don't know, man. Some leagues are are made for people, and some aren't. Dude, seems to do be you see in this link up, by the way, between Shakiri and Kamara? I like it. They're they're already linking up. I'm just seeing good things there. Oh man, if Mullins could still be on the field right now, I'd feel a little bit like more excited. Here. Mueller, Mueller. Or yeah, what did I say? Mullins. But we were talking about we mentioned Chris Mullins in the past. <laughs> Brian Mullins. Chris Mullins is Brian, the best Brian Mullins. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh no! Ooh. Nice. Who was that? That was a nice stop. Gets or not. Um, Suquet. Oh, nice. Dude, smart. Did you hear like the mics pick up Ezra screaming at him? Or not? Or not? No, I, I can't I, I can't hear it. I, I'm listening to perfect sound. Otherwise the the peop the good people in the world would hear what I hear. Ah, fair. <laughs> got got dual like earbuds in. So that's I the thing. When I got the game, I don't. So, oh, I love that. That's a great idea. Um, I thought about doing something like that, but no. I'm just uh, I just watch and I get my own ideas without having the announcer in my ear. Fair. I I tend to miss stuff when I watch games. Like if I'm just listening to music or something. Mm -hmm. Like I can't remember. There was some game I was watching. I was like, why are we just so terrible in the second half? They're like, well, you know. Then I finally realized we were playing with ten men. I was like, what the. F did that happen? Oh yeah, you missed. You missed the red card, or well, the red, it's in the graphic, it. but sometimes you just don't even see it. Nah, I'm so far, man. I'm super jacked about this Apple thing, man. I think they're doing a great job, dude. It's been and, awesome. It's been and awesome. To be honest, it must be doing decent, or else people would be shitting on it like crazy right now. You just know, switching back and forth time. between the games today. Uh, I started on the one game, and then like I'm like, okay, and then I then I put on the the 360, and they switched 360 today. They made it better. They they heard the you criticism. Think? I might wa I might go back and watch that if some of the later games are boring. Because uh, <laughs> I was what did I say last weekend? I was like, tell me you have a problem without telling me you have a problem. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm, I'm watching Vancouver versus Real Salt Lake right now. <laughs> oh, dude, but that's what was so awesome about 360. Okay, so it was finally, so last week, apparently they just totally missed and they were having way too much studio, you know, the nice pretty lady and all and all of the fun pundits who are, who are all really smart at soccer and, and they're telling us awesome stuff, but there's no gameplay. We want to see the games and we want to see constant game. That's what I want in a red zone. And they heard that they got that this week. We were getting that. It was, it was awesome. No, can I can I can I make a point here? Yeah. This 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 person that everyone's just referred to as the pretty lady. Kaylin Kyle. Just, yeah, she's not just a nobody. Isn't she's she a Canadian she, professional soccer player. She's a Canadian international. She she's yeah. a, she was she was a really good soccer player back in her day. Oh, she's retired. Okay, fair. She's retired. See, I just you know obviously I I, I don't pay enough attention to the women's game on top of the fact that she's Canadian. 
and it's <laughs> awesome dude it's it's actually an amazing get for mls because a it's awesome with the when you get a beautiful you know beautiful person to, that you get to watch on tv right that's nice but she's smart at soccer she's fucking smart at soccer and it, oh. that to me is also awesome it's like chelios with uh, the blackhawks uh they got the uh, chelios's daughter who's being uh who's become an announcer for the blackhawks and man oh. she's just so smart and awesome so it's like it's awesome to listen to who is I oh you're not listening to it. Who is this woman on the call? I, I don't think she's doing a bad job at all. Either. Oh, she's the new girl. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what just happened. That's gonna be called off. Yeah, I I that's why I didn't even freak. He was off. That first shot though was I know off. Chico's Whoa. goal was offside, but that was close, says brother BKL. Wow. It's true because James Sands uh, plays really sloppy over uh, ever since the Rangers FC, but now he's come back to New York City. This technique uh, was really sloppy back at Rangers, but now that he's here, you know, maybe he'll rein that in a little bit. Wow, damn oh, Chico's! Man. I can't believe he didn't make that, but Chios is uh, he's got that dog in him. Wait, man. is Selassie offside? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, he's offside right now. Hold on, he's offside right now. He's actually he's still higher. offside. Yeah, he 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 bought a condo offside. Yeah, I, I think he's offside for that. Sorry, Selassie. You, oh, yeah, you, no. oh, almost. It, it, but the ball was shot. So it, he it, does he come back into an onside position? Ball was uh, shot. Well, well, he was still in front of the ball when the ball was shot. So no. That's my question. Yeah, I don't think so. At least, because yeah, dude, like, this is the, but the ball crossed him and hit the goalkeeper and since it's now a rebound it reestablishes his ground no it um, doesn't rebounds do not okay if, if so the that there li there lies the question so if, if that that would be the case yep he would be offside then if the keeper had pos like it's almost like that football thing where you gotta mm -hmm. take a step with the ball or whatever right if he had possession if, and then dropped it then he could step I'm, up the Selassie could step up and correct. slot it home yeah That's i think you're right now i could be I could be wrong, and we're about to freak out. I, yeah, I think you're right, though. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for this to be a no goal, no goal, goal kick. Yeah, eh, you know what? So yeah, saw that coming. That kid was paying HOA fees over there on offside. <laughs> At least, you know what? At least be exciting, man. But like I said, man, we are Team Chaos right now. We're playing so much better than, like, our disciplined ideas. Oh, you know what? He was not behind. Well, he was, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was still, the ball was struck in front of him. But that's still, like, when you, yeah, that's a gray area. But, yeah. Because you think about a through ball and a guy's offside, but it goes to the guy who isn't. He still can't get the ball later. Right, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. Where like the ground established, like so. No, he's still on onside on, on side position in that way. Yeah, Doctor Joe, I'm coming for your job. Doctor <laughs> Joe Mechanic or whatever it is. Yeah, or I don't remember. <laughs> he's okay. Yeah, Axe, no, that was a clear offside. Yep, that's clear offside. Like clear in the in the definitions of the rule. But if you're confused on the definition of the rule, then then. And you're unclear, right? <laughs> it's us who's unclear. He was clearly offside if you know the rules. It's clearly now, offside. Me, you're very excited. <laughs> yeah, for if you're unclear, then it's a little different story. Ooh. I mean, we're pressing. We're, like, we're running out of time. Dude. Honestly, if it was another 15 minutes, we'd probably score. Dude, Key Kamara is, is so much better at playing f soccer in MLS at forward than Kasper Prishbilko. Correct. It's it's amazing yeah. to see, and actually, it's a huge get that now that I'm seeing him play, like he is one of the better players on the field. Yeah, already, which is kind of funny because like he, he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be. You don't you don't feel like it, but man, it's it's really evident. I'm only two years older than that man. My knees hurt. That's nuts. That's not. Oh, that's a foul on him. Oh, yeah. You could give him a card, Rodriguez. That's a card. No, it's not. That should be a card for that, dude. No way, that should be a card for that, dude. That's a prick. That that's a look. Watch this. Watch this in slow motion. Stuck in, man. He, look. look, he grabs his leg. Oh, 
right, he did. <laughs> he grabs his leg and he pretends oh. like he didn't. He pretends like, oh, I didn't mean to hook your leg. I was trying to hook the ball. No, you already knew the ball was gone. So he's like, oh, yeah, well. no, that was dope. so that's to me a yellow card. <laughs> so we've got some excitement here, but the ball's going to ping pong for a second. So I got to ask you, how do you oh. feel about that? Cat? Was it the St. Louis game? Or yeah. Was he like, was it like his his buddy had the ball and he was like, "Hey, pass it to me, pass it to me," and he had, he turned around, and scored the game winning goal. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be feeling this way right now. Uh, saw fire player down. Looks like he's he's Ooh. is he out cold? No, I think he just smacked his. Oh, well, maybe he was. I think he smacked. So his you head. do not grab a player's head if they're out cold like that. Wait a second. No, what he's not out. Oh, he's well, he not. did hit his. No, he hit his head. He hit his head on the ground when he landed. Oof. Oh, dude, he, oh, dude, he hit his head. Oh. I don't Oof. think he hit it that hard. He annihilated the cat from New York. <laughs> yeah, the cat from New York is really down. Uh, Miggy did not land on his neck and head right there, man. Is Brother saying, actually, that wasn't a card, but it is a foul instead of a yellow card. <laughs> I love it. Um, don't fact check us. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not trying to laugh here while these two guys are down with p p could be bad injuries, but it looks like they're getting up. But um, well, I mean, as long as everybody's breathing and shit. Yeah, like, exactly. It's not uh, you know. yeah, those guys are smiling and okay, okay. Most, that's what's most important. Is everybody breathing? Okay. Yeah, and, and we'll rest later. Has Although has anybody heard from Chris Rolf in a hot minute? No. I feel like the last time I heard about him, he was talking about how hard it was to like. Every now and again, he would have these really horrible light sensitivity issues. Like he'd be in the grocery store and just like need to like lay down. Oh shit, dude, dude! I have, I have. Oh, sometimes I have that too. Not that severe, but I, I have light sensitivity issues every, like every once in a blue moon. And I mean blue moon, where it's like you know every couple months or so. All of a sudden, I'll, I'll wake up in the morning. And I'll be like, oh, this is like a. I've had some, I've had some head knocks. Oh, you've had some concussions? Oh, I've had some concussions. Oof. I'm just stupid. Thankfully, I've never hit my head too hard. Oh, man. I actually, man. I do think I've had one concussion in my life, and I was very young. Um, Very long story short, but a paint can accidentally fell into my face. Mm. And, Damn. Uh, Damn. And thankfully, everybody at the party just kept me awake. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shnikes, man. That's a... F that's a freaking Home Alone movie and a half. Yeah, no, it wasn't fun. No. But uh, it, it could have been a lot worse. I'm glad but, that uh, it wasn't. They were talking to you today. Anyway, that, was, that, was, that was the closest I think I've ever... I, I, I don't know. I was pretty sick to my stomach, and I was just like, I want to sleep. And everybody's like, nah, dog, why don't you stay awake? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. And then, yo, know, yo, know, man, I've, there's nights you, you, when you have a bad one of those like you can't sleep you're up puking you're up you're up with the porcelain goddess all night long so what, what was all yours uh um sports related i've had sport i've had dude i've had so many i've had sports related and just life related <laughs> really oh yeah just Man, being a little kid yeah a little bro. kid just falling off something oh we got oh. a chance <laughs> just being a little kid falling off something and um oh thank god i was like how did he how did he if that so badly but it was blocked but i mean yeah luckily it wasn't yeah luckily you were still alive and breathing and man i remember one time i fell backwards off of my i was leaning on my bicycle it was a two-wheeler and i had a kickstand but i was light enough that it was like you know we were young enough and light enough that it didn't matter and i was cocky sitting there just and i leaned back bam my, and i fell off my bike and i hit my head on a concrete step oh shit Oh yeah, dude. Oh, Ouch. that that was one of the worst nights I can. I'm remembering it right now. Whew. And that was when I was like eight or t eight, between eight or twelve years old. So that's like twenty. Oh man, yeah. but I just remember being awfully sick. It was just like this. It's just like spinning, puking. One time in soccer, man, I got stepped on. And I woke up. I woke up and I'm looking. I'm, I didn't remember where the exit was. It was indoor soccer. I didn't remember how I walked in the place, and I drove indoor, there. Indoor soccer is like dangerous, bro. That's uh, that was the only time I've ever had to have surgery was like hyperextending my knee in indoor soccer. 
Five minutes till a point secured in Chicago's first game at home. Unexpected point, I would say. No, it's about to be an unexpected win. Well, you think we got a PK here or something? Or, uh... No, no PK, just magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> Brother BKL I'm... is holding on. He's a NYC, uh, NYC fan. We got, we got some NYC fans up in here. Hooray. Yes, we do. James, uh, your your channel is such a fun, eclectic mix of things, and you get a a good eclectic mix of people swinging through. I do. We definitely do. We got some. We got some uh, New York fans. We got some Red Bull fans. We got some St. Louis fans. We got Columbus fans. Uh, oh, Minnesota man. fans, and of course and Chicago James Fire fans. Enough, he swung through my stream last night. Oh, dude, that was, was fun. It was. I, I meant to just t pop in, watch for a few minutes, and head off to bed. But man, I just got sucked in. It was just too much fun. Uh, I was, I was like, uh, I, w I was trying to stream last night, and then my neighbors were like, "Hey, you want to party a little bit?" And I was like, "Just a little bit. I'm gonna stream." <laughs> and it was like an hour, two hours later. Oh shit! I better get on the internet and make a fool of myself. <laughs> and I was like, I was ready for like an all nighter to like four a.m. And then that's like, what you said, yeah. <sighs> like 1 30 came around i was like oh, i'm gonna go to bed yeah maybe. when you said that that was right around what i was about to say like hey man i'm gonna i'm gonna let i'm about to start heading to bread but i won't let you know when <laughs> oh man but then you said it and i was like oh yeah i'm, I'm ready man also you gotta end in a high <laughs> that was great yeah that was awesome and that that, that hell house <laughs> that, was, that was pretty funny i was woefully unprepared i'm so we're just killing time because we the ball has just been sitting Somebody was down. Brother PKL heard uh, heard our opinion, uh, and he and he uh, and he's hoping that we don't jinx anything right now. Oh man, you can't jinx anything. Like I, I feel <laughs> like I feel like as a as a general rule of thumb, like I guess you can jinx things when you're like, this is gonna happen. But like some people won't even talk about like when they win in or anything good, mm -hmm. and it's like not just like with teams, but with themselves. It's like, I don't want to jinx it. It's like, no, no, no. Acknowledging something has been good up to a certain point doesn't mean you're jinxing it. You know what I mean? You can acknowledge that shit has gone smoothly for a while. Are you quietly internalizing some tears as you read the Archduke himself, Angus McCorder's comment, saying oh, that no. St. Louis City won 3-1? Three 3-1? to 3-1. One. Three to one. Three to one. Damn, who'd they play? Who did they play? Oh, they were playing Charlotte. Okay, okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. But, like, St. Louis is better than the sum of their parts. They got a means, good goalie. Yeah, they do. I mean, that was a good investment. It's like, ah, eh, you know, let's put a brick wall back there and see what happens. They got shit for it, too. People are like, oh, you're spending too much on, the, on that. And they're, they're probably right. But, hey, if St. Louis has a different built team. Well, this it's a brand new league, dude. There's a lot of things about American soccer that has. Hey, you just got punched in the face. What, dude? This number eighty needs a yellow card. What the fuck was that, dude? I didn't. I. He didn't get did punched. Not... He didn't. He just got. He got. It, Herbers got a little manhandled there by number eighty, and I did not appreciate it that no card was lifted. But then again, I was just trying to protect our guy. Pour one out. Herbers had to score a goal for his fallen podcast. That's true. Are they not, the are they not doing their podcast anymore? No, nah, they're gonna, I think they're at least putting on hi hiatus, but they just they're shutting it down. Oh, why? You know, being professional footballers and having families. Yeah, that'll do it. Not being on the same team. Well, the other thing, dude, like it's just like it's I, I'm I'm st I just it's hard, I'm having a hard time seeing how the profits for some of these things like um me as our own little printer enterprise, we attract a small little crowd. We get a, a tiny bit of people, but like you have to bring in good solid numbers to like really return on that that investment. Do you? I mean, what? It like for less than a thousand dollars, you could get the greatest setup you need for whatever you're doing, streaming, talking, right. podcast. Or, but you need to get the viewers, and if you're not getting the viewers, then how is it? Then it's not worth it if you're not getting the clicks and the views. 
I mean, I'm I'm well in the mindset of not everything you do has to make money. But, I, but I'm not saying for me as a small guy. I'm saying for the the ones who are trying to make money, the ones who oh. I like. When I, I I'm worried for CHGO Chicago. I'll say it. I, C, CHGO Chicago is an enterprise that's supposed to make money and and earn money and like the the CHGO Bulls, CHGO uh, Bears. I like their content. Uh, I I don't really watch the the White Sox or the Cubs content, but I might click on it in a time or two. And this and the CHGO Fire guys, I clicked on all the time when I could, but I was one of the few. And it, it just like and I just worry for those types of enterprises uh, that are that they're that are trying to make money. Like if they. It, they're going to fall to the side at some point. I, I don't know how realistic, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just. Something's got to well, give here with this, with this fire, with this fire content. I mean, something's got to happen. I mean, they're trying to do the men in red thing, which shout out to them um, because hot time and old town closed up shop, but they still have a podcast. Uh, Ruben is still doing a podcast. Uh, it's just, it's now for free. I think it's called like the lantern or something. Oh, I didn't see that one. I saw the Men in Red podcast. Um, shout out to Sad Boys FC. They're good. That's a good show. Yep, Sad Boys still going, but now, uh, so uh, Men in Red now starting up the new thing. But uh, well, Brian Sandalow was shutting down his podcast. I was about to say we just lost the soccer conversation, or the mm-hmm. what, what was it? I don't know. I've I've subscribed to it. I don't remember what it's called. It's Sandalow and yeah, you uh, called it the soccer conversation. Yeah. Yep, that was a good show, and that I mean, was a good show. It's uh, it's why it is wild too when you look at like all the folks, the Jeff Crandalls of the world, all these people who worked for or covered the fire. We like some of the best in the business covered this team when it wasn't terrible. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But dude, that the reason they're they're they've moved on because it's, it's not worth it to cover the fire. It's I get the most clicks we get for on my channel now it's for mls stuff i've been i've been getting lots of click for mls but when i do chicago fire it's like it's niche it's like it's it does like not even a, it does it does less than a quarter of what it would do for mls it's kind of nuts that is nuts because i remember a time in the last two years where that's where i would see your number like you'd have mad more people in here for these for these the, for like, these the game or Absolutely. Not streaming the game, but streaming during the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, it's, it's I'm worried that numbers are down or something. Something's down. Well, somebody's got to have a really good idea, kind of like a, a comedy thing that you could do. That <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking I'm just gonna do that fucking thing myself, dude. You got to do that. And uh, the other thing I was thinking about was like when I'm when the fire like they want to hire me and give me fifty give me fifty to a hundred k. No, I need I need if I need a budget, I'm gonna need hundred k plus. But I could literally be a one man shop and I could set up all over the city every week. Have a podcast in a different part of the city that's really really cool. It's a cool camera setup. Meet a meet a former fan. Meet I'm sorry. Meet a current fan. Meet a former player. Meet a current player every week. Just something new. Have something for and have something for them. But I don't have the money to do that. If they want to pay me to do that, I'm happy to spend my time doing that. But yeah, I mean the forest preserves are free, bro. Like we, you know, I've got. <laughs> these cell phone cameras no but nice. my, this takes money you gotta drive we gotta drive places fun. you gotta set up things and you gotta record and edit fair shakiri with the chance here oh, right into the wall we are going on into 111 we're going on to 12 minutes of extra time here it's nuts i do you know what i'll tell you this like from watching fire like watching soccer up to this point, I have been so happy with these huge inflated numbers on the uh, extra times because there used to be like, you know, people would used to waste so much time and you never get a chance. And it was just like, this is garbage. You know, you gave us two extra minutes when guys laid around for seven. Exactly. You know? Yes. Right, final, final whistle. Fire take a point. Yep. Is this amazing or what says brother BKL? That was a heck of a freaking match. I mean, Props to Ezra. His man fought. NYC yeah, should, should team prepared. Wait, say it again. I said team chaos better than our than team prepared. Yes, team chaos was better than team prepared. Four guys lost into injury. It seems three, maybe three. Five subs used. 
absolutely nuts. Did New York? Do you think New York City kind of let this one slip away, or did Fire just turning back on that engine? They kind of just ended up matching each other. I think NYC let it slip away. I really did. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know, man. They they they're not as good as they were. They definitely are not. But like that's the kind of team that's going to be hovering around ten to ten to seven. Yes. Right. And yes. so those are the teams we need to. We should have beat them at home, and we need like if we actually want to go to the playoffs, you got to beat that team at home. You got to tie them in, on the road. Yeah. So you just said it. Like that's a seventh to tenth place team all year long. And if you want to be even in that 7th to 10th place team conversation, you had to have won this game. Yeah, the 100%. Wow, you got me thinking that the fire might be 11th, 12th place, or beyond. I mean, I think so. It, it just... It makes you want, like, I mean, that's a, that's a part of the fun of watching MLS. You never know what the hell is going to happen. The fire could drop, like, what was that last season? They dropped three on Philly. You know what I mean? And, and like, and then couldn't beat, you know, Cincinnati. Or, well, I guess they were good last year, but couldn't beat Charlotte. You know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I like, I like the for the the fervor i like how everybody played i feel like there's not a lot of guys out there that just dropped their shoulders it was like what the fuck when they gave up a goal and just ho-hum their way through the rest of the game which i felt this team has done many a years in the past so that's a good sign um kai came in and really changed up the whole thing mm -hmm. honestly the greek kid might do the same thing too mm -hmm. I might help think, out i mean i i, I just feel like shabilko doesn't fit this team shabilko doesn't I don't think Shabilko fits soccer anymore. Like that cat is 100% reliant on being next to someone else in the striker role. Like he needs to be in a 4-4-2. He might need a new location. For sure. Uh, but the, the Chicago, positive Chicago Fire have more points per game than New York City, who we just tied because they've played two games and we've played one. So we have one point per game. They're, they're sitting on less than that. Um, and also, uh, Axe and Chicago Fire can't a name can't even compete with a TV show. I want this team to do well, but until they win, the interest is just going to stay low. Fire needs better play. Their first half wasn't good at all. Not at all. But I think the TV show thing's going to die out, right? Like no TV shows go over ten years anymore, really. And like TV's not even going to be a thing. And as much as nobody wants to admit it, just like how the Cubs are over a hundred years old. There's going to come a time when the Chicago Fire are over 100 years old. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to have professional soccer in America forever. Dude, now. do you see that stumble from oh. Shabilko? I, the first half, like, the, the, the sky, I, I already turned it off. Where okay, I'm watching it. a little bit of replay. Yeah, they're just showing him skying it again and his bad touches that led to it. Well, that's what I was telling you, bro. Like, we got to look out for this man's mental health and how he plays the rest of the season because, like, he could have shut up all the critics in one swoop, right? He could have just came in, smacked his you-know-what down on the desk and was like, I'm here, shut up. Dude, I want to see Key Kamara get that same chance. I feel like he takes better touches and does something with that. Kai Maybe. Kamara at 38 years old drains that every time in the exact same scenario, and that's why it's just the difference and like there's a there's hundreds of strikers who could do that too you know what i mean but it's just i don't it's just i guess i'm stumbling over my words so much because i don't know exactly what it is but i guess i guess it's a personal problem i have like i'm not mr south american like i'm not the biggest like i'm not gonna freak out because i want everything brazilian and argentinian and what argentine and whatever but one thing I do know is I am not a huge fan of Eastern European soccer. And that's what Heights is. He goes and gets the guys in the Eastern European soccer leagues. And these 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 teams can fool you because they can just bunker in and they can give a Real Madrid or a whoever problems every now and again in a Champions League game. Or they can just stomp their way through their own league. But they're not necessarily as balanced or as talented as... as Major League Soccer or even Liga MX, in my opinion. 
you know, I would put both those leagues way above any Eastern European league. Honestly. They were uh they were showing I don't know. Uh Eastern European? I mean, there's not many that that are good there. Uh I didn't but know I could have been showing your video. Player. I I could have been showing your video this entire time. Uh, yeah, well, I, I I do that every time. I, it's up to you whether you want to show my ugly mug or not. Let me worry about that here in a second. But because I, I had something queued up about the fire. Oh, so that goal. I, I want to talk about positives. One more. One, one more major positive. That goal. That goal came from a free kick. And um and what I'm seeing is there's a connection already here with Shakiri and. Kai Kamara, that is not there at all with Prishabilko. Um, th this connection was, I'm, I was seeing it instantaneously, and then on that goal, you see it. Shakiri now finally has someone up there that he can trust giving it to. He never could trust giving it to Prishabilko. He's like, he's always going to give the ball away. Now I can give it to Kai. He'll at least pull, pull the ball down and find a, maybe find a pass, do something with it. He's got that trust, and we saw it on that goal because Shakiri takes this ball. Kai makes an outside run to the right. He nods the ball down, kicks it back into the middle. It bounces off out into uh, Herbers' path. Herbers takes the shot. Bam! Goal. It, it was beautiful. And that comes from this, this instant chemistry that we're seeing between Shakiri and Kamara. And guys, that's going to be something that we are going to have to pay attention to. And that actually might spell some sort of thing that we have not seen here, which is goals. I honestly think the only reason Kai didn't start is because he just was signed this past week. Mm. And that was it. Well, he's, they like, got to give Casper a run, right? They, they wanted no, to... they don't. Well, I, that's what I thought. But now like with Ezra willing to take him out at half, that shows me that he isn't going to just sit there and be reliant on Casper the mm -hmm. way I was fearing. And, and Casper's doubt, Casper's got to be galled by that too. Oh yeah. And I, I got to tell you this, man, I, I try not to be super negative. So let me, let me wrap this around as a positive real quick. If this was 15 years ago and not every team on the planet played a four, four, three or four, four, or, ah, four, three, three, where they're overrunning your central midfield and you could play a four, uh, you know, four, four, two with a diamond, you know, with Shaq in front and with Navarro in the back. Shabilko with Kai Kamara, they would probably both score 10 goals. But that's not where we are anymore. You know, everybody's got three guys in center of the midfield, and you can't be overrun like that in today's game. So Shabilko is just, he's just not built for today's game of soccer. He can't be the tip of the spear, and he can't do anything else. He's not going to be a, a pacey winger. He's not going to play any kind of centrally. So you're just kind of, it just is what it is. He's just a action figure that doesn't articulate at the waist. <laughs> I don't know. It's just how I feel about the, the whole situation. But I feel a little bit more positive than I thought I would. Dude, uh, I'm, 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 okay. We don't want to smoke the hopium too much, but. Let's try and prognosticate here. Let's try and see what we saw. Let's, let's just let's just see what we saw. No, uh, dude, let's the free base hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, a Angus saying that this was the huge, most important game in St. Louis soccer history, and they knocked it out of the park. Shit, Miami. Okay, I got three sixty on right now. Miami just beat or beat Philly two nothing. Oh, I got to get three sixty on. Doing it right now. Oh my God, please tell me that was not Martinez because I just took him out of my fantasy team. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm pulling on 360 so I can see that. I want to get this ESPN on. Oh man, Chicago Fire needs to sign DeAndre Yedlin. I would be the happiest man alive. Oh my God, dude, did you get it up? That was an amazing goal. Uh, I have it up now. Okay. Ooh. Look at this. What a vault. Oh my god. So enter. Taylor. Oh yeah. Uh Christopher Pick was mentioned in that goal. That's beautiful, man. Wow, that's a good goal. You you are uh you are you they could see you in the snow. I know. I'm I'm a I'm a specter. I, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> it's great. I love it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, the the ghost of Chicago Fire past. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That's oh. what, what a uh, beautiful soccer day. Dude, these but, these days are great uh, with all these games. That is fun, but I, I don't know how many Saturdays I'm gonna be able to dedicate to this, right? I mean, your literal channel is called Spitting Fucking Fire, which means you're gonna have to do this for the fire games. This is what you signed up for. This is what you gave us as the people, and now we're fiending for it. You gotta at least do that. Like, wh who cares about LAFC? <laughs> That's the thing. I, I figured, like, if I if I'm just watching the game and I'm just hanging out and watching the game, like, put I'll put this on. I'll, Might I'll, as well, man. I'll, I'll hang out with you guys. Because I like talking soccer with you guys. Yeah. You know, the other thing is, like, I feel less compelled to explain the game or to like commentate the game, and instead just enjoy it with you guys. I I'm with you on that. Like, I like I said, I appreciate you bringing me in today because. This was a lot more fun than just sitting around and being like, ew, they suck <laughs> at home, you know, by myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what? I don't know. I, like I said, dude, I, I think that's part of the problem. That's why we keep like completely bipolar swinging from optimism over to despair is because these guys don't all need to be jettisoned. Better guys, like better pieces need to be put on top of what we have. And then I would feel amazing about some of these guys coming off the bench. We're gonna let's we're gonna replace this whole team right now or or keep. Starting with Richie. Richie's so replaceable. Um Well, I mean Brady's gonna replace him. There we go. The so the the then the replacements in house already. We I like that. Arnaud Suke, couple flashes tonight. Flashes. I, I I'm willing to give him some more time before oh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna throw the throw him under the bus you know who i didn't really notice taran oh he had some big stops early i saw somebody online i wasn't paying attention early him, yeah somebody <laughs> he was talking about him being sloppy and i was like i mean maybe because i was very long story between like at the first half i was at a hospital and then driving and then home so like that, that's why i didn't hop on earlier but like so i didn't get to see everything but i felt like Turan had some big stops early on good and so i i felt a little bit more comfortable about that i mean honestly other than injury concerns our center backs are pretty solid chico's uh i saw chico's getting somebody's craw and, and prevent a goal on that corner kick he, he the the guy was pissed he's like it's like the ref didn't see that oh chico's is just a fucking magician and then Chico's almost scored a goal himself. Yes. So I like Suke, Taran, Chico. So they did well. Richie's replaceable. Navarro. Um, I'm I'm Wait, ready oh, to replace. He, yo, Miggy, he's gotta he has gotta be upgraded, dude. D didn't he already didn't he do something today that ever like he does every game where he put the fire in a position where it's like, holy shit, dude, why'd you do that? I mean, he was consistently getting caught out, in my opinion. I'm I'm not I'm not a great tactician, okay. but from what I could tell from what I'm watching the game, I feel like he got caught too far up the pitch consistently and like he would recover, but not great. Mm -hmm. Like he would recover in the way that like he would have to be playing centrally while the center back was picking up his man. You know what I mean? Like because Tehran and Chihos was good enough, they were slowing down the counter attack and then he was able to get back. Oh my God. Vancouver scored a goal. Unbelievable. But San Hoover, um, San Jose. Well, Van Hoover is better than San Jose. So you you would replace Miggy as well, correct? So Miggy is replaced. Richie's replaced. Out of those, that's five people in the back. Two I'm replacing. So that's Richie and Navarro. I'll keep Turan, Suke, and Chicos. Now we got to move into the midfield where Federico Navarro and Jairo Torres started, but did not finish the game. I don't know if you can grade either of them. I mean. The no. idea is that Taurus is supposed to be really good, right? Right. <laughs> like, I mean, he's supposed to be. How how many games did he even play last year? I feel like it was like five. Look like, that we up. signed him injured. He was art. Bro, I didn't know you got down like that. <laughs> I wrote Torres. Career stats. Last year, he played 14 games. He started six. Wow. 14 that did not seem right 
He had zero goals. He had one assist. This is cool. We're watching three games at once. Oh, never mind. On 360 or? Okay. Yeah, it was on 360. <laughs> I love that. Now yeah, I'm loving that. Okay, I just pulled it. I just went back over it because I, I was so, looking at the uh, Tourist stuff. Well, I guess that midfield, I'm willing to give. I, I feel like Navarro played well last year, right? And so, Yes, well enough. And, well, it, that's the point. Well enough. And then Torres <laughs> is supposed to be good. He's supposed to have been like the upgrade. He pushed Pineda down. Well, and Pineda came in. Well, I mean, it's hard to come in like what? <laughs> he pushed Pineda and Jimenez down. And and Ezra had the idea to start him. We really got to see how bad this injury is for both Navarro and Torres because that's his ideal midfield is Torres Navarro. No, I would not say that so quickly. I no, mean, that's his. That's that's Ezra's ideal because that's who he started. No, I, I feel okay. like like Gaston was a little bit, you know, he wanted to rest Gaston and had to bring him in mm -hmm. is what happened. Like, in my opinion, I, I still think Ezra, or at least the team itself, sees Gaston as the leader of that midfield. Gaston, if we get the best out of Gaston this season, we got a chance to make the playoffs. It, it That's what I'm starting to think. We got really? a decent Where enough back line. We have I know nothing about him. We have a good enough striker with Ki Kamara and Jordan Shakiri with this link up that I'm seeing and more games of them getting time together. I'm just excited about that. Chris Mueller, hopefully like it's not a significant injury because he's that most he's one he's another. Like he's part of that huge important piece of the offense. And then you can put anybody over on that right side, whether it's Guti or whoever. So I guess here's the question. Um I feel like Guti was invisible, but was that because Navar um Guti uh, played yeah, today? Navarro played poorly. Guti started yeah, exactly. on the wing. Exactly. And um, Mueller had a good game. and Well, a decent enough game. Yeah, I See, that's what I'm talking about. These guys are all like, they're okay, but like if we could upgrade any of them or, you know, two or three spots, I think this would be a way better team. I mean, it just... Uh, it's 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 close. It's closer than I thought it was. Let's put it that way. I think we're closer to something than I thought we were, but we're still definitely not there. Is there a place where I could check their player ratings for today? Like their Audi player ratings, plus. What is that called? Opta or whatever? Aren't they the ones that do it? Audi player index news. All right, I'm trying to see. Oh, to the Discord. <laughs> Trying to find it because I want to see what were the player ratings today. I'm going to who scored right now, who scored.com. Who scored? I love the name of that. It does what it says on the tin. I'm going to <laughs> who scored.com right now because they always have it. Uh, well, they'll have something like it. Let's see what they have. Take me to the MLS, please. Take me to the major leagues. There we go. Now I want the Chicago Fire, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Okay, I got the ratings here. <clears throat> Woo! Prish Bilko with a 6.1. I'm going to put this on the screen for the good people. Gross. I don't know how that, uh, I don't know how it was that high. Yeah, I don't know how. And I know I am a hater on Casper, but, I mean, come on, man, that, that, should have been a five. Um, six point one should have been a five. Mueller got a five point nine. Uh, maybe. Yeah, he he did a lot of take ons that did not work. Guti so six point oh. Yeah, that's kind of like baseline. That's when you're invisible. Shakiri at six point seven. I thought he had a a, a few flashes, but him he and had a fine. He had nothing to pass to. And yeah. So until Kamara you know, came on. Exactly. Yeah, what what does it what does it what does a Shakiri do for you if you don't have good players around him? Right, like he had no he Persia Bilko. It was basically you put a garbage can out there, you put a cone out there. Practice cone, practice cone. Uh, Torres with a six point four before he left. Navarro with a six point two before he left. Snuke threw up a seven point two. Was the best fire player on the field according to this metric. Turan, 6.1, 6.2 to Chicos. 
They're giving a 6.5 to Navarro, but I don't see it. 6.7 to Richie. I do see it. Richie actually played, had a decent game today. He had a I just good saves. Yeah, he and I definitely didn't say any of that when I was saying like he's replaceable. But no, I mean, it must be said that he had a good game. game. Richie did have a good game. The I one mean, goal was a great goal in a way. It was like um very well placed and it disguised. Was right. It was a good game. It was a good goal. It was a good shot. He like you know, that's why Ederson is world class, right? Ederson would have stopped it, but not many others. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Brother BKL agrees with the Mueller grade. He says he just, he was playing he wasn't playing good this game. Five point so nine. Know, what I really think is the issue, and I think it explains both Miguel Navarro and Mueller, is Mueller was trying to do a bunch of good things, but they didn't pop off. And then Miguel Navarro was being targeted all game. So the ball was always on his side. So he had way more opportunities to make defensive stops and passes to raise his rating. Oh, but so I said Suke was the hardest. I'm sorry. I said Suke was the high, highest rated fire player. It's actually Herbers off the bench with an 8.5 because he got the goal. <laughs> Hi, Delilah. Can you hear the cat? <laughs> hey, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. Uh, Pineda, 6.3. Hail Selassie, 6.1. Kamara with a 6.7. So I'd put Kamara up there. Um, and Jimenez got a 6.4. I, I liked what I saw from Jimenez. Let's let's remove their scores, and let's go give our own scores. Prisha Bilko. Five. You'll get no complaints out of me for that. Is that is it you're going with that, too? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, this is going to be a combined effort. Mueller, I'll go six. Uh, yeah, exactly. Baseline. Because I didn't think I think he tried to do a lot of good things, but there wasn't a lot of good things around him to help the cause. Shakiri, I'm torn on because like once Ki Kamara came in, like he became a seven. He... Oh, most certain. Yeah, I would say Shaq got at least a seven. OK, so I'll just give him the end. I'll give him the end grade seven. Because before he was a six to six point five before Kai Kamara, uh, Kai Kamara came in, and then when Kai Kamara came in, it was it, it, they were both different level, and that's what led to the goal. Um, Gutierrez, five point five for me. Uh, yeah, exactly. Actually, that's exactly what I would have said. Yeah, totally. Because he he was in, invisible, just as invisible as Prisha Bilko. <laughs> Mueller wasn't invisible. He's just making. Didn't make the right uh, seeming decisions. Nothing, nothing popped off. Nothing popped you off. Also, it was, wasn't working. Torres, not enough time. I, I was getting excited, but just not enough time. Navarro, not enough time. I was getting excited with those, but I, I, I just not I enough think time. You could give Torres a six because didn't he stay out there a little bit longer, like at least twenty some odd minutes? Because like Navarro went off what five minutes <laughs> in or something. <laughs> No, it's super early. Navarro went off super early, and uh, Torres went off right before halftime. So Torres got about a half, and yeah, I could give Torres a six. Yeah, he wasn't a five point five. He was not a six point five, but he was. He, he was doing. He was okay. It, 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 he was doing yeah, something. Doing something, but not doing everything. So yeah, six, six to six point five is in, is what. I could go 6.2, 6.3. <laughs> well, I'll let you fight yourself over the details. I know I am. I am. <laughs> Navarro, no grade. Suke, I'm going to give him a 7. Point, uh, a seven, maybe even a 7.5 because had some couple flashes and was linking well. I felt like he was a little nervy, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm being a little bit more generous with my grades than, than they are. No, because... no, knock it down. Knock it down. 6.5, 6.8. Something like that type of thing. Cause Fair enough. He was better than bad, or he, you know, he was he was a positive on the field, but he wasn't only positive on the field. I guess I'll say that. Brother BKL saying that Miguel Navarro was not playing bad uh, when he was a defender, so he's giving him a seven. Okay, I, uh, I, I personally would say that, six. That's coming like, from a New York City fan too, who who was having to deal with Miguel. There, I just felt like he was completely targeted and mm -hmm. caught. I feel like 
the center backs covered him well enough that he got to come back and then look like he could defend. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say Omsberg is in there. Let's say, you know, it's a Tuesday after, uh, you know, it's a double game week and she host just can't run fast enough to get there. He's, he's, he's giving up the goal. Miguel is, you know what I mean? That's kind of where my head is with him, but I guess I could be wrong. You know, I'm not, I'm not a tactician and, I have uh, I had a lot going on during this game, so 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 I'll, I'll stick with their six point five. I could I could live with the Chicos. I could give a six point five too because I, I give Definitely. him a captain boost. Actually, I'd give Chicos a seven based on an offense. Like he was a threat offensively, not just the yes. shot. Yes, that's a good and shout. He, he also had a make. It had a really good um, block early in the game. I, I would say seven for him. And he's sure. leading the men. He's he he. This team did not quit, and he's a reason why too. He's one of the reasons why. Like, we're gonna give if we're gonna give Navar Navarro a six point five. There's no way he played. He definitely played better than Navarro. Let's put it that way. Uh, James Sands was playing in that central defensive midfield uh, for uh, for New York City. But um, uh, let me finish what did they this. Rate him at what was his rating? Six point seven. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> their, their whole team rated a lot Frank better. Yeah. They're, they played the better half. They played the better first half, but the better second half was the fired. Uh, uh, Taran with the six point one. Yeah, I'll go it. And Richie was six point seven. I could give Richie a seven, or or six point seven five. Seven. Maybe there was two big save early on. Yeah, he well, like even the nervy moments. Like he got the ball. Like even though he dropped the ball, he dropped it in front of himself. Like he didn't do dumb things. Like that type of thing. So I feel like he deserves a seven for sure. Pineda six, Hal Salasi uh, six. Uh, I feel like Pineda was lost, but then again, I, I feel like that's partially a symptom of when he came into the game. But I, I would give Pineda six point five. Okay, okay, nice. I like that. Uh, Hal Salasi, I was giving him a six. I, I, I thought he had a good explosion on one or two occasions, and I'm excited to see the, the, that happen again. Agreed. I, I think you gotta go baseline. He didn't, he didn't provide negative on the field. He provided positives, but. I feel like his contribution, like he just, he couldn't find the game enough or the game was flowing through other people opposed to him. So that, yeah, I would go, I would feel comfortable with that as well. So this key, this Kai Kamara grade, I I'm a little, I, I don't know if I'm giving him an inflated grade because I feel guilty or if he truly deserves it, but I want to give him a 7.5. Uh, I would say that's inflated. I, I would meet you at seven. There we go. See, okay. I was giving him a 7.5 because I kind of doubted uh, that he would come in and just be that effective, but holy shit, he was. So yeah, I'll, I'll give you that seven, and that, that's still a mark of a good of a good of good. Jimenez, I want to give uh, six point five. I, I liked what I saw out of Jimenez. Yeah, best best game I've ever seen him play. Uh, I mean, I'm sure he he had that one game he scored two goals or whatever, but like still. <laughs> a little hyperbolic, but yeah, one of the better times I've ever seen him on the pitch. Connor asking who won the match. Nobody, but in a way, the fire did. Um, yeah, the fire won one to one. The fire won <laughs> one to one, in my opinion. New York City lost one to one, I think, because they were the better team. They were the better team for longer, but for not the entire bit of the game. And it, it, it that's what ended up beating them. Or and, and hence that they, they lost this point. They lost the ability to get all three points because they didn't put the fi fire out. Brother BKL say he's playing all right, but unfortunately he's hurt really, really badly. Plus, James Sands did play as a six. Any thoughts on New York City's players? I liked Pereira. Oh God, yeah, he played an amazing game. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, nobody else. I well, you know what? I take that back. Tyler's or Tyler, Ty, Ty, Magno. I don't forget his first name. Magno. Magno played really well. I think. Mm -hmm. I think he's unlucky to have ta to have taken the uh, the deflection. And honestly, I think that even though it deflected off of him, he still should get credit for being more def more of a defensive, um, a better defensive try than most strikers would give in that scenario. Connor saying that double game weeks will be on Wednesdays and Saturdays. None of that weird Monday, Tuesday games. But what I was saying is it'd be nice to have those Monday games in the summer. Zach saying hi. What's up, Zach? Hello there, Zachary. Hello. 
Thanks for joining us here on Spin Fire. We're talking a little banter. To, to, we're watching MLS. I got Colorado SKC 0 0 scoreline right now, but who knows what it'll be five minutes from now because I'm watching this MLS 360. Dude, they're nailing it today. It's literally they're doing better. It's they're nailing it. <laughs> what was what was the Canadian woman's name? I forget it now. Kaylin Kyle. She, I think, last week, everybody had had a lot to say about how she was dressed and i feel like they're jelly they put her in, not jelly i think she's a she, i think she's an attractive woman i think the dress was hideous right it's yeah. not about how much skin she's that part i don't care she had a damn cape <laughs> you know? yeah she you know and i think they they took a beautiful woman and threw her in a dumb looking dress to try and get her roasted online to get like to get it trending i, I really actually think don't think so her. i i think I thought, she i think that was a her thing i think she wanted to be loud and audacious and cute and okay. that was her style to do it i think that Fair. i think that was her style to do it and i the other thing i mean look at jillian sackovitz look at all these girls they're they're bringing their their absolute most stunning at stuff out oh i gotta tell you julian sackovitz beautiful dress today she mm. that is a beautiful woman and you know what i i, I always really enjoyed her and i really oh and i love susanna collins oh like, i like I their to, podcast oh it's amazing and before that i don't know if you know this back in the day you know your 2014s to 2006 17 her and kaylin carr so susanna collins and kaylin carr had a show this week in mls on youtube it was actually hilarious and awesome it was awesome but once that show like stopped her and Julian or Julia, Julian, Julian Sakovich, they did their, um, oh God, what's it called? Ah, uh, fuck. I'm subscribed to it. I forget what their podcast is called. Help me out here, James. What, what is it called? Not allocation disorder. Um, the call up. The call up. That's what it is. The call up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, um, I think MLS has a really good stable of people on TV. I yeah, feel they like, do. And like in podcast form too. I, I gotta tell you, been a big fan of Extra Time since, even since it was like Little Lawless and Simon Borg, right? Yes. Like, and but even now, especially like Andrew Weeby is kind of awesome. I, I have to admit. Yeah. And like he's growing on you. Time, but I I'm, I like all that stuff, man. I think they I think they have really great talent. Um, the one, the two people I'm slightly concerned about is uh, Sasha and BWP, and not because they like suck or they're annoying or they're Alexi Lawless Juniors or nothing. They're just they're really smart and they have very smart things to say. They're just not as bombastic or fun <laughs> as some of the other people, right? You know, you like, you know, like. like you see, you you see, uh, um, what's his name, Jermaine Jones? Anywhere, please stick a microphone in that man's face, right? Like you, you have some people who are just like epic on camera. T Taylor Twelman, despite kind of fangirling out last week, is usually really good, but um, you know, it, I worry that Sasha and BWP are a little too uh, stuffy, so to speak. I haven't gotten to really enjoy it so much, but uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, what, what did I listen to? Yeah, I was listening to their to their recap, and I got about halfway through it, and I was like, I think I'm good. <laughs> I th I'm, I'm, I'm good. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'll, they, try, I'll try it again, a, though. They need a Kalen Carr or somebody on there. They need, uh, you know. They they gotta they're still tweaking things they're still working things out but oh my god I am so sorry to interrupt talking about MLS talent and so uh, something I think we should do as a spitting fire family a couple of years ago I bought Bobby Warshaw's book that whole when the dream becomes reality and I have yet to sit down and read it we should have a book club on that book okay let's do it that's gonna be old school mls stories out the out the wazoo my man i wish we could just read it like i, I would just read it uh to the <laughs> people just sit on stream and read very very andy kaufman s i'm down i'm down <laughs> you know what books on tape i'll let james read my book <laughs> I'm, I'm totally down i want i want to make a video that i 
I am actually, that's one of my plans. I have, I'm looking for a book that I could read on stream from start to finish that like, you know, that won't kill me to read, you know, eight, 10, 20 hours or something, but. Okay, hold hold on. Let me, let me go grab this thing. Let me see how, how long this book is. I don't know if I could legally read it on uh, stream. Really? So that's the other thing. Well, there's, there, there are a lot of books you, so it's it's copyright. So there's copy, oh, no. right? I never thought a book would fall under that. So no, you can. I I you can. Um, I can absolutely. There's people who read Harry Potter. There's people who read Jurassic Park. But it's it's the the copyright owner can claim you or claim the profit or claim the video or or you know those types of things. So like say um I read Jurassic Park on stream from start to finish to you guys. I think that the you know, whoever owns my credit state whoever they'll they'll be able to go in and be like you yeah, know we'll take a little bit of that uh, well i mean if, Bo if bobby warshaw eats and you get clout who cares right yeah, I that's mean, what i'm what? saying i'd be happy to read it and i don't care if we don't make a dollar i don't make any we don't make any money <laughs> i don't make any money on this anyway so it's like it, I, I, as long as i don't get Not copyright yet. um um, as long as I don't get a copyright claim, which is different than a strike or a copyright strike, yeah, don't get then I'm good. Claim. Yeah, I can, I can get claimed. Good. Claims totally fine. Get claimed all the time. But a strike, that's the problem. I love it. Did you get claimed on your on your watch video? Mm, yes, but for something else. Well, no, I I figured it was for the entire YouTube video that we watched. <laughs> no, I did not get claimed for that. <laughs> no no yes. actually like, um it. what's been annoying uh the fire the soccer stream video i did the other day with the fifa when i oh, go gotta turn that music off bro the, the, I need, the music's already off so it's actually something else so when you're in a transfer they take you into a uh, like a video so like you're having tea or something right and you're signing the player with their agent and like they have a right. video right so that video, there's a soundtrack playing during those scenes. Getting claimed for, for those soundtracks. And there's no oh, way yeah. for me to turn off the sound for those. Oh, okay. However, um, they aren't claiming the full portion of the video. Some people will claim the full, they claim the full video. This one... It's like a half, like I get some and they get some, but I mean, we, so I get, I'll get 10 cents. They get the other 10 cents. All right. All right. I feel you on that. that these, the, and you know, the Supreme court is going to rule on a bunch of internet stuff this summer, right? And really? All of us. Oh yeah. There's like four cases where they're just going to make it to where none of us real people can make any money. It'll just <laughs> corporations. That sounds like it's yeah. That, that, I mean, that's kind of the case. It's they're gonna say, oh, it's gonna you're gonna have to license, license, license. It's gonna be all about money and who can pay for the licensing. Exactly. It's a the, you know we're already in scorched earth territory here. Oh, dude, we're we're in trouble. Seems like we're a little bit in trouble. <laughs> yeah, just a bit, just mm -hmm. a bit. But um, oh, we got so sidetracked. No, in all <laughs> seriousness. I want to do a book club for that Bobby Warshaw book. I want to get you and DPG involved, and we we will have a spitting fire book club round table discussion. <laughs> or you could just read the goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whichever. How many pages is it? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. Hold up. Watching SKC, Seattle RSL, San Jose Vancouver. Call up podcast. There's two call up podcasts. There's an MLB podcast. And there's the dude, there's two call up podcasts. Bobby Warshaw's book. There it is. Behold. It is. Uh, boom! It is two hundred and fifty-nine pages. Okay, that's that's a that's that's a dual that's a two streamer. Yeah, I, I just pounded out five hundred pages yesterday. For me, this would be like a six stream endeavor, considering I'm dyslexic as all get out. But 
you know, there's that. It was One Piece, though. I read One Piece. Oh my God! You literally sat and read read One Piece. Um, no, the, I read. Watch uh, it already? I'm watch. <laughs> oh, we're watching it. Yeah, we're halfway through it. We're episode six hundred. But uh, I, I, we have it on the book. Um, Mrs. Spitfire picked up the book and tore through it and was like, oh, my God. And she's like, oh, my God, I love this. And, and then I read it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And of course we love it. We love the show. <laughs> it's like it's just, and it's like it's 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 awesome. There's something so magical, heartfelt and like uplifting about One Piece that I just don't find in any other show. Like it, it, it literally makes you want to take on take on anybody. Like th- Luffy's taking on the government, right? <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> just saying, dude. That's what I always say. Is like my girl got me into watching Star Trek. Like I've never watched any Star Trek anything, so she's got me watching different Star Trek stuff, and I yeah. love it because, like, you know, I'm used to like all the gritty Breaking Bad, and even like The Last of Us. I'm loving, but like everything is gritty. And it's like Star Trek is so much like anime because friendship <laughs> wins at the end of the day. That's all awesome. The time. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. That grittiness. Yes. Yes. And I've got I think that's why I also like One Piece, because it gets away from that grittiness. There is there's a pureness to it. But also, I mean, like, man, they're, they'll, they they kill people in horrific ways in, in One Piece. Like it, it, it doesn't shy away from that, too. So it feels like adult. But yet a little bit like you know like it goes there but then it like doesn't dwell there which is nice it's still it's still exciting but it's like uh like i said friendship wins right and that's I, exactly I'm what like, it is in, in anime that, that that's exactly what it is in one piece friendship wins i mean because we're the best of friends yeah i mean just think of naruto or bleach or any of that stuff i've fallen off on my my anime my anime stopped a while back I tried to watch uh oh, what's the one with Naruto's kid Boruto? But, Don't uh, nope. Thank you. Nope. Just thank go to One Piece. Boy. There's nothing. There's nothing better than One Piece. Trust me. Yeah, I've heard that. It is just so hard to be like, okay. There's there's nothing. I've checked it all. Episodes, D- dude, you know? I've checked out Full Metal Alchemist. I've checked out uh, Roroni Kenshin. I've checked Wait. out Pokemon. I've checked out One Outs. I've checked out. Uh, Vash the Stampede tri- uh, Trigun, and I've checked out Ooh. Trigun Stampede. Um, you ever seen uh, that S Cry Ed? That was one I, I got down with real hardcore. I love no, that one. No, I have not seen that. I've seen yeah. Death Note. I've seen... Um, Death Note is Jeff Kiss. That's like one of the better TV shows ever made. Death Note or... No, Death, yeah, Death Note for sure. Okay. Um, um, and then uh, I've seen... Uh, Full Metal. I, did I say Full Metal Alchemist. I already think. Yeah, I, which, which one? The the redo or the the original? First one, the original. Um, yeah. Uh, then the um, I've also. Oh man, what's the best one? Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop. Bebop. Yeah, Bebop. and of course Cowboy Bebop. Well, did you see that uh, Samurai Champloo? I've made seen by the same guy. I've seen an episode of Samurai Champloo, but that's about it. I've. I, I got down with that one. I thought that one was cool. But I think what you I'm, I'm telling you, like I've seen all those and One Piece is the best TV. It's 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 not only is it better than all those anime, it's the best TV. I've seen um the good I've seen uh what's the uh the, the guy what's the Goodfellas TV show? Um The Godfather's oh, Son uh, no not Sons of Anarchy, which No um, Sopranos. The Sopranos, so the Sopranos, great TV. Um Breaking Bad top five. Well, these guys, these are top five. One piece better. Just All right. You, 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 I think you sold me enough. I'm going to dip my toes in the one piece. Come on, man. Like, I don't know how it got my wife. Like I was watch, I, I was watching like episode 22 or something. And because uh, my wife, my wife was working and we were on vacation or something, but she was working because she was, uh, we were down south. We were in Florida. And uh, she comes in, and I'm watching this weird, crazy cartoon that I just started watching. Like, I, just because I just a rainy day, clicked it. It's just making me laugh, and I I'm, I just get sucked into it, and I'm binge watching. She's like, "What is this? This is annoying. <laughs> this is." And she's like, "This is so annoying." She's like, "Their voices, I hate it." And she and she just she just didn't. She was she was not. She was just watching it with anger and not liking it, and just and just. Ugh. And it got to the end. She's like, I hate it. Another. 
<laughs> like like she because like she hated that she liked it there was something about it that she immediately was like what do i like about this and then it dude man just the way that they're they introduce bad people bad guys and the way they build them up and the way they take them down it is just it's awesome i love it and well, TV makes it jaded nowadays. Like we're so we're getting so old. We're getting so old. So it's like we we've seen it all, right? Well, and like for me, like think about like the '90s. Fight Club was awesome because th like things were pretty decent, you know. Like <laughs> The Rock was awesome because who would think there would ever be terrorists? Dawson's you know? Creek, now, Melrose Place. Well, not even, but like you would watch the gritty stuff back then. Natural Born Killers, because like oh, Natural Born Killers, were, yes. Things were were more chill. You know, now that real life sucks so hard, I want to see friendship and happiness and NYCPD Blue, <laughs> you know? life on the street. Oh God, yeah, it. Northern exposure. Well, li listen, James. I don't know how we got onto anime from watching the Chicago Fire, but it has been one of the funnest journeys. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off. I'm gonna let you take back control of your stream here. And not to be plugging, just to say it out loud, I have a feeling I'm going to hop back on on my channel playing something. I don't know what, but I am by myself this again this evening, so I am going to play video games. <laughs> I'm so. going to check in with Mrs. Spinfire, who has arrived uh, in the midst of my stream I just heard. She, she, she poked in and said hello. I'm going to check in nice. with her and, uh, and see what the plan is for the rest of the night. Well, like again, thanks for letting me on. I'm FC Neo Tokyo. James is the man. Give this man a like. Give him some love. He deserves it. You are the real MVP, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. I greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you for stopping by. You always... It, it makes the show so much more fun for me. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad I don't just uh, come in uh, like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> oh, heck no. No, but that's the way we do it. That's that's the best way to do it. And if you, if you talk to my wife, she... You, She's that's that's me. <laughs> I am the bull in the china shop. I feel uh, you, man. Peace all right, out, brothers. Brother. All right, brother. Get home safe. Well, you already are. That's the that's the beauty of streaming. Home. <laughs> awesome. All right. Awesome to have Tokyo on the stream. Check him out. FC Neo Tokyo on YouTube. Greatly appreciate him stopping by. Talk a little soccer. We're going to shut down the stream, boys and girls. If you guys want to hang out a little bit more. Go stop by FC Neo Tokyo stream here in about 10, 20 minutes or so when he streams on. Hit that bell icon so you get notified when he's live. And uh, maybe I'll make an appearance there tonight. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, do, I don't think, presume so. I was looking forward to seeing what Mrs. Spit and Fire was up to. And then, and then after that, and then figuring out. I know there's right now, actually, there's a UFC fight going on. I was intrigued about, but ended up not purchasing the pay-per-view ticket and been talking with the boys who were also interested. In, and They've also been sidetracked, so it's been uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been you know things have been developing. Oh, she likes she likes that. That's funny. All right, everybody, thank you for joining us here on Spitfire. Kick that like button. Subscribe for more Spitfire. Greatly appreciate talking soccer and join the game, the beautiful game with you guys. Oga bonita. We'll catch you on the next one. Fired off of ballers. Let's go.